Oh shit! All right, now we are live. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I got the screen open. I forgot to pull out the fucking phone and share the shit. I'm trying to get into a little um little habit of what the fuck we do with this shit. Yeah, so y'all should get in the habit too. Get Once ready. Y'all go on this shit. Leave a comment, like it, and share it to whatever the fuck social media y'all be on. Make that the habit. We're gonna try to get more habit to being a little bit more organized. But this is the Umbrella Podcast. We go down the rabbit hole and such and things and, and we, things. And we, and we smoke a lot of weed during this shit, too. Mm-hmm. Talk a lot of bullshit. I mean, at least I smoke a lot of weed. This one, like, he hits it, but, like, he ain't a pie like me, so, like. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? You're an addict. He's a lightweight. I'm an addict. You're an addict. You know, I can't even. I want to dispute it, but then I don't. Dispute that you're an addict? Yeah. I mean, I'm a weed head. You're an addict. I'm a weed head. You're just a dick. And you add dicks in your mouth. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's really going there with that fucking shit already. You saying? We right, out the on, gate. Me, we let it off yo, out the gate. Let me make sure. All right. You got the sound one, right? You can hear it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I hear it. All right. All right. I'm just trying to make sure that the fucking sound is right. Yeah. We're Listen. Good. I don't even know. It was like. It was like 520. And I'm like. Oh, shit. We got a pod. Mm? <laughs> so I'm like, let me roll a joint real quick. And I got all this shit ready. That podcast blunt, they Man. hit stronger than the morning blunt. I be busy Lighter as shit. Than the last blunt of the day. The right in the middle of the last blunt. You never know when your last weed is going to be of the day. Yeah, you do. You know, you you either might know you're about to go to bed, or you smoke, you just pass the fuck out because it's some good weed or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, why am I trying to share this shit through the messenger? I'm, I'm just trying to get this shared on fucking Facebook before we do this shit. Yeah, did oh, you I probably should share this. Yeah, see? See, see I'm telling both, y'all motherfuckers should share it, but... Y'all motherfuckers should definitely share it. Uh, I still gotta update this fucking background. This shit, this is cringy every time I look at it, bro. Oh my god, you're still <laughs> doing that? I do want to share it just because like that. I'm going to share it anyway. Fuck it. Oh, man. I'm, yeah, why doesn't it look yeah. like that? I don't know. What the fuck? I don't man. know. He don't know what he's doing. You don't know what I'm doing. You're right. All right, we posted it. It's it's going on Facebook. It's it's We live right now, Umbrella Podcast. All right, cool. Now I, can, now I got my bullshit done. That was me tagging you. I got my bullshit done. Now we can actually get into this episode. I got the fucking comments open. There we go. There we go. We got yeah. So the topic of the day was about the competitive competitiveness of music. Competitiveness of music. The competitiveness. And it's this a lot of people do this shit for hobby, but even I feel like those people that do do it for hobby be like low key comp- competing against like the people at the top. Well, you, you know, people step on each other just to get themselves into a better position. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that's it's the but that's of life. but 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 that's with anything though. That's not just music and you know what I mean in general, but just I anything. will argue it's a little more cutthroat in music than like just the general shit. <clears throat> just because it's like formed around. I mean, even then, it's formed around being the best, but because music is subjective, anybody can just call your shit trash. So it makes you want to compete on a different level. Just because it's the fact that you can write the best shit in your life, and somebody still be like, mm, yeah, because it's subjective. It's mid. <laughs> it's it's cause it's subjective. You know what I mean? Um, if you were to if you were to have some kind of way to like break it down into like a science, and look at somebody's everything from cadence to rhymes to how on point they are on beat where they put their rhymes like you can you can break it down into like a science like that but at the end of the day it's still all subjective it's like what people like yeah but i mean some people just like some stupid ass shit so i some fun shit i would like to call it listen stupid is people like doing fucking crack yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean crack is fucking good. Some motherfuckers like fucking Lil Yachty. It doesn't mean Lil Yachty's fucking good. Y'all motherfuckers are just brainwashed from the fucking industry, getting it shoved down your fucking throats until you just decided, hey, maybe we like this. Because you're not given anything else. You don't see anything else. So you don't even just think about it. You know what I mean? It, it's it's yeah, don't get, don't The reason why they don't see anything else is because the people that's in position to change their opinion ain't fucking well, yeah, working yeah, hard yeah, enough. Yeah, that's why I said with... with no, no. Nah, they ain't working hard it's enough. It's not. No. Are you kidding me? No, nah, motherfucker. How hard, hard have I been working for 20 years? Not enough. 
You talking about the fucking? I'm telling you these albums, mixtapes, music videos, no, 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 songs, that, collabs, shows, that, all work. this shit that I've done, graphics, all, all the other shit that that's I've done. That's work, bro. But where's the million dollars in the yacht? Because I don't fit their narrative. No, you can fit yours. You can get the little no, 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 following no, no. and shit but, like that. But the like, people, the people that put the shit in front of your eyes, don't want you to fucking see it. Yeah, that's a, a conversation with like gatekeeping and shit like that. But it exists. I mean, it exists. It does. It, it does. It does. I'm it not does. saying it don't. But when motherfuckers gatekeep, then you knock down the back door. You kick in the fucking back door. I mean, it's kind of what I do with like my brand and everything. Wait, I'm not what, very. What does successful. that say? Does that say no life shack? No, no, that's no not life, no shack. life shack. That's not no life shack. Yeah, so Come it's on, like man, stop playing with me. Motherfucker gotta kick the back door in. What's good, Shaq? That's not no, that's not. One subscriber, that's not really him. Either uh, way, what's good, Shaq? Even though you faking the funk, crazy. but it's cool. That'd we still love crazy. you. Uh but yeah, like if you if, like I feel like leaving it to say all oh, what well, the industry doesn't want us to be, blah blah blah, is an easy cop out. But to be honest, all the work that I fucking did, it ain't enough. Or else I'd be where I need to be at. But your level of talent is way above talent don't a mean lot nothing. of those people. But it, it should. It should. It should. That's but the problem. talent don't equal success because there would be 100,000 millionaires in New York State alone. And neither does talent. hard work because the motherfuckers have done hard work and they fucking work their asses off for nothing for fucking years. So it's a it, saying it's that It's literally a uh, who you know thing. It's not even really... It, it definitely is who you know, cause you got like music is built like even this industry we in is built on relationships. So definitely who you know. But one thing that a lot of people confuse is working hard and working smart. And we work hard as fuck on the shit. But working smart means that if we got like one song and we feel like it's perfect, working smart will be pushing that shit until something comes from it. Until you get your money back, your time invested back, you feel like all right, now I'm ready to move to the next project. While I got this whole stash of fucking shit in the back collecting. But a lot of us just worry about working hard. I mean, maybe that attributes to our us being competitive. Um, because we like, well, I work so hard at this shit. Oh, I outwork this guy. I outwork this guy. I see this guy do that. I'm going to outwork him with that. We're gonna, but in a sense, like, working smarter will figure out how to use the people around you to, like, build up. Like, it was a quote that I seen. It was like, I, I, I helped a man to the mountaintop to realize I was there too type shit. So it's like, um, what niggas work hard. You try to work hard getting up to that mountaintop of your own. Working smart is knowing that you can get there twice as fast with somebody else to get you there. So I feel like the working hard shit is like the loner state of mind that a lot of music artists have, DJs have, uh, producers have. A lot of people in the music industry, aside from the executives, feel like this like a loner, me against the world kind of thing. Do you know how long some of these people have made music before they got famous? I can imagine. Like, I years can't. And I years. can't. No, no. Because I've literally seen motherfuckers talking about. I just started rapping last year. Oh, and you they know put out guys. their fucking one song, and that blows the fuck up. Yeah. And then the fucking those motherfuckers didn't work. They worked on something else. You know what they, they worked didn't on? Work shit, motherfuckers said I just started rapping. You know what they worked on? Their social media presence. They got popping before. So like you know like uh, what's the guy's name? Fucking with the dreads, Kai. Kai Sinat. Can I, can I, or whatever. I, I know who you're. So I don't that know motherfucker, I've been music. seeing him doing video games and like interviews and shit and all the time. And then when he finally dropped a song two years after I was aware of him, two million streams off the bat day one. So it's like people work hard on other things and then incorporate music. But to me, that just goes to show that I'm music not, isn't the final product. You I'm mean? not saying that it's not possible to do that on your own and whatever. But I'm saying the chances of it not happening because somebody doesn't want it to happen. It's very high because people control that shit. Yeah. So how do you get around that? I'm a guy that looks for an answer within the, any problem. So it's like... I mean... They don't want you to. To get around it would be to... Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> to build your own little fan base and shit. But, um, but at the end following. of the day, like you're still not going to... Um, you're not going to break that barrier until that person wants you in so the barrier mm-hmm. you're talking is like the public conscience where it's, everybody it's a knows. barrier from going to from like um underground to mainstream i guess public like conscience, to, yeah. like to, to get like how kind of how hobson was mm-hmm. he was strictly internet and then you know kind of now he's super famous and fucking he's living in australia and he's doing all this crazy shit um he's been on the radio he's been on all these shows and shit uh he's probably been on tv um, 
But that took him a long time to do it, but, like, because he fucking people were finally like, all right. But then he started making shit that wasn't as, like, um, intricate and, um, I don't know what the word I'm thinking for. As, uh, well, while you're thinking intelligent, of the word, let me I've heard him make some dumb ass shit. Let me buy some marijuana from you. I see you have extra. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Buy some marijuana from you. Sell me some drugs. What? Sell me some fucking drugs. Some shit. I don't know what he's talking about. We just smoking the weed here. <laughs> Let me buy this. Hell no. This I got that from drug a, right here. I got this. I got this from a dispensary. I have money. <laughs> I got this from a dispensary. Yeah. Okay. Let me buy your secondhand drugs. Bruh. Yo, these. I got a question though. All seriousness. You want to see my? You want to see my uh, black balls? <laughs> You said after you say in all seriousness that no, I'm, I'm dead ass. You want to see my black balls? I, I I call them two different things too. One's a uh, tourmaline and one's obsidian. Would you like to see my black balls? No, they feel amazing nah, in your hand. Because you, you keep saying that shit. They feel amazing. Because you keep saying that shit. I don't fucking. <laughs> yeah. cool they on, look bro. like they look like uh, stress balls. Damn near at this point. Like hey, just hold spin. No, bro, come on. You made it weird. No, hold my balls. Nah, I'll burn them. <laughs> but yeah, I've been getting. In, well, I've been trying to get a little bit more into metaphysics and shit like that lately. <laughs> so I got this obsidian right here, this tourmaline right here. Oh, so this you, one is for like radiation and shit. Collecting crystals and shit. Yeah, I've been doing it for a couple years. I fell off for a little. Collecting bit. crystal meth. <laughs> if that is an option without being arrested. On this shit too. Oh man. Look at this shit. You gonna kill somebody with that? I could. You can you, kill somebody with could. a spoon. You could. Uh, you you yeah, can kill somebody yeah. with that bong right there. Just jamming in their fucking eye. What bong? Twist it. This. I mean, bowl. I was gonna say, what the fuck? I thought you were pointing at a spray bottle over here. <laughs> I was like, what Tap the fuck? Tap into your inner shelf. Yo. This is my you can kill somebody with that spray bottle too. If you you serious about it, give it to Liam Neeson. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> that motherfucker murder somebody you mean, with it. You mean Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris, too. Yeah. Motherfucker. Take the end of it, break it off, jam it up your nose and shit, kick you in your face, Man. drown you, because you could drown in two inches of water, so he'll find a way to drown you with that little bit of fucking water in there. Yeah. I, I I really, real quick, I want to take a little, little shout out to everybody who's watching right now um, in the comments and all that shit. What do you got? Did, did you switch it to... I have two people watching, and I'm one of them. <laughs> you get the top messages. Do you need to change it? Nah, it's the, the, the button. This? Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't show you all of them. Uh-huh. Yeah, see. Like, Yo, <laughs> got, stop. You hear me, though? I got two people watching, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Yo, tap into my shit, bro. Y'all Yo, stop telling me to lit. pass my motherfucking weed. Like, hmm? <laughs> Who said that? Multiple people. Pass that shit. Like, Multiple people, okay? Let me he don't buy, smoke like that. If he if he weed. takes too many hits, he's gonna be all fucking. <coughs> let, me, let me buy some little, weed. little fucking crazy. <coughs> be I'm crazy without drool, it. He's gonna be drooling on the floor. I drool without it. Look, <laughs> you wear a helmet too. I wear helmets without it. <laughs> <laughs> you wear a helmet to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, that's just in case, in case you fall off the bed and hit your head on the floor. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Mom said they gotta be safe. <laughs> Man, I actually gotta say too, we've been getting in the habit of doing this shit more, and I I, I have fun with this shit. This three weeks in a row. We ain't never Yo, did three weeks in a row. Never did three weeks in a row. We a year two, days. but we it, owe it to y'all for for. Asking about it, yeah. Especially yeah, those I mean, two people on minds, and I'm one of them. It's a, <laughs> it's a little. Uh, sometimes you know, I mean, when you don't know, people actually care about what you do, and they don't say anything or whatever. You know, you don't get a lot of feedback. feedback. Jinx, you owe me a thousand dollars. Hell no, I ain't about to give me Jinx, shit. you owe me some more oh, drugs. <sighs> no, let me stop. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers said, mentioned the podcast. He said, when are you doing it again? That shit's dope. You know what I mean? Shout out to Ab, uh, Regis from uh, 
comfortably canceled podcast live five, whatever you want to call it. I still to this day I'm a little confused on how I think comfortably canceled is the show, but the actual people is live five. Um shout out to that motherfuckers uh for also being encouragement and doing this shit a little more. Uh, we just have fun, you know. He come on here and shoot the shit. We don't like we're not too serious, but we're serious at the same time because we care about the things that we talk about and our views and opinions, and we hope that y'all motherfuckers can relate to it and uh, po- maybe even possibly learn something from the shit that we talk about. You know, everybody can learn something from everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be a bum and fucking you know. You can be a, white, a rich motherfucker. You could can be learn black. some shit from a bum. You know, what you I mean? can be special, Ed. Because <laughs> I said you wear a helmet to bed. Yeah. You're a dick. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, orange, gay, retarded. A figment of my imagination. Imaginary friend. <laughs> it sounded cool to, cooler to say a figment of your imagination. It sounded nerdier saying that shit. <laughs> Sounds a fucking childish say, oh, imaginary friend. <laughs> you skip it through a fucking field with fucking late Yo, fucking D's. Suck ass. my Balls, nigga. <laughs> My hard black balls. Why you gotta go back there, dude? <laughs> Yo, why you jump back like I really put my balls in your hair? Yo, because we already went through this. Like, I don't want nothing to do with that. Alright, but still, my balls still touch your hair. Just one of them, though. <laughs> You're wild. You're nah. wild. Anyway, the Nah, girl's going the, wild. The to- See, I got punch eyes, to- bro. The topic that we had... Was uh, the competitiveness in the music industry. Yeah. And there's a lot of competitiveness. Um, you got any personal experiences depends. where you feel like you have to compete more than everybody else? You feel like somebody's trying to outcompete you? Well, in the in the era that I grew up in with fucking diss tracks and, you know, when M was coming up and he was dissing everybody and, and with, you know, T.I. Lil Flip, fucking LL Cool J and, and uh, Shoot, my what face was the, anyway I, with the other minutes. one? Um, 50 said Ja Rule. Yeah, yeah. That well, that also became M and Ja Rule too, and then uh, you know, M Benzino it? and fucking all that shit. Um, remember the uh, MTV show Beef, and they just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, that's how, that's how I, I fucking used to watch that shit with the like I said they had an episode of the little flip, and then uh, Jeezy and Gucci Man. Like there was a lot of big name fucking beef that was going on back then, and the diss tracks. I believe someone fabricated. Half and, of it was at least fabricated. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you're entertaining people, and if you were really going lyrically, like, you were really kind of battling, but you were on beat. I mean, there's there's battle rap as a culture. That's a, that's a thing. Oh, no, I'm so, talking like, about the dissing that happened off of the track, like, on interviews and sneak dissing and like, open it in front of crowds and on stage, like, dissing them, like, those kind of shits that I've seen on. Well, I mean... That's not really, I don't really, no, I, I don't really, I don't really say that that's competitive. That's not, that's not a competitive thing to me. She That's just, that's just a motherfucker got a problem with another motherfucker in there and they're fucking, that's not, it's competitive when you're actually competing. You're competing in music and to try to put out the better track with the better buyers to diss the other motherfucker and have mm-hmm. the fans say, yo, Jeezy won. You know, Jeezy beat Gucci Man or fucking T.I. took out Lil Flip. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. So who ultimately won. It's like a battle. So I would say with that, right? That's you know, where I came from, though. That's what I grew up with. So that's what like I do diss tracks and I, I talk about I talk shit that I, about people that I feel like I'm better than and I'm just trying to prove it in a competitive way. And, you know what I mean? Some people take it the wrong way. Um, I would say, like, diss tracks is, like, trash talk for, like... <clears throat> and, and there's a difference between talking about, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to fuck your baby mama in front of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't mean that. I mean, like, actual bars. Bats. You know what I mean? I mean, like, actual bars. Face go like, black. You're trying to be fucking intricate and fucking intelligent and say some fucking, you know, smart shit. That I right? mean, like that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, but what you're talking about is some whole other shit. Oh that's no, no, like, I was just that's like actually I was like attributing a like that's not trash talking was like attributed to that's not the competition because you gotta think like it depends where you take it. Playing, when motherf- I mean, it yeah, it depends, depends where you take it, take it definitely. It's but like, we were playing basketball or sports or anything. You got trash talk, and it's not that it's competition right there, but it gets inside my head where you get an edge over it. So it's like that could be attributed to the competition. That's just like a byproduct of it. It's not necessarily saying I'm competing with you by talking shit, but. 
if you try to get under somebody's skin, that'd be one of the ways to do it without actually. Yeah, but you're just them. trying to get under their skin. Now, if you're ta- if yeah. you're talking shit about oh their, their rhymes is trash, you know I took that motherfucker out. Y'all hear the trash fucking you know, genocide? I, I fucking went to the spot where MGK did rap devil and fucking dissed them. Like that is different kind of trash talk than like I'm gonna shoot that motherfucker next time I see him it's on site. Nah, type those shit. are those are threats. That's not. <laughs> that is not. That's not trash. That's I don't that's know about not. that either. That's not competition. I'm talking about like what people get clowned on stage. They ain't ain't nobody really gonna go in front of like. Well, I'm let me say that nobody because I know motherfuckers will go in front of thousands of people and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go murder this nigga." Like, nah, that's incriminating yourself. (laughs) I'm talking about when they generally like just talk shit about another artist. He said like gun talk is very common. Yeah, we. I mean, we are know like gun talk kind of boring guns, but I'm saying like. You could do it in a in an intricate way, like make some cool metaphors out of it or something. You know what I mean? If you're if you're making it into an analogy that can be compared, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But other than that, like oh, I'm gonna show up at your front door and shoot you in the face, like it, nah. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Shit like that. That's whack. Yeah. But that and there's no effort in there. There's no fucking effort. So I would say with my competitive competitiveness, competitiveness is less. Uh, I say less direct. I compete by just trying to write better songs. I don't need to like openly like, yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah, that's a way. Shit. But that's that's kind of in a like, way. That's kind of in the way of like how I look at it. I, I passive uh, aggressive. Yeah, I guess. I guess you're like you're like. <laughs> it's uh, like oh, I think he better than me, or they say he better than me. Yeah, and then I'm direct competition, naming people. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like yo, fuck him. <laughs> Yo, because I that's, just that's, a how fuck it, that's what I grew up with, with, with hip hop was people actually saying names. It wasn't all subliminal shit. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, you say having seven. No, nah, I don't sub. I sub. I guess I sub. But I more so be like, I'm going to write a better verse. When than it's that. about when it's about um, I wouldn't necessarily call it a sub if it was about like a a, a thing that people generally do like if you're talking about multiple people Mm -hmm. i don't really think that's a sub but if you're like direct like saying something that could sound like it's only about really one person yeah then that would be a subliminal but like if you're just making a general statement i kind of just rap about myself at that point in a sense and i mean even the way i approach music like y'all see like it's when it's direct it's aimed to myself so I compete with myself. Uh, Only competition is the man in the motherfucking mirror want to be better than that motherfucker yesterday. <laughs> that was a nah, mistake. nah, that's that too though. You always want to do better than your last shit. You Some know, people don't. Want... Some people they ain't got that competitive in music that they newer shit sounds like shit. Unless that's not that's not even competitive. Motherfuckers just don't right. care and shit. Like they don't then with that's nobody not... else. They don't compete with them fucking self. Like that's not taking it seriously. Hobby. Hobby like, Lobby. Like when I fucking Hobby Lobby need to get a jobby. When I did that fucking uh, art joint, <laughs> big shit. When I did that, I didn't like purposely like, oh, I'm about to kill these motherfuckers on this song. You know, I didn't do that, but I was just really feeling the song. Right. Like I, I really like that song. He's like, I'm about to kill mean? all you motherfuckers. But I like to be, <laughs> I like to do the best of my abilities. You know what I mean? Some people don't do that. They're just, oh, this is just a club banger. Oh, this is just a, this song don't mean shit. I was just having fun. But, you know, there's a lot of people that don't look at it as if it was just some bullshit. They take it seriously. It's all like, just like with the satire articles and shit, people share it and they think it's real. Yeah. People do that with music too. They hear it, they think it's real, and they mimic it. You know, one thing about that too, that they be talking about all this entertainment, use that as a cop out. (laughs) But that's not enough at that point. You know what I'm saying? Just to be like, oh, well, I'll, I'm only saying this shit. I mean, it may be satire, but I'm just entertaining it. And it's like, what type of shit are you really inviting now if somebody really take that shit serious? That's you, what I'm saying. Like, you make a joke. over here, oh, I, it's just entertainment, bro. Okay. People, people make jokes about, you know, fucking shit all the time that people see something and they don't look at the comments or they don't know the person or whatever. They just kind of came across it and they think it's real. And maybe they it appeals to them and they go along with it, or maybe they don't. You know what I mean? But it's it's just the fact that like you can't you can't just expect people to get given shit and it not affect them and rub off on them because that's what that's what you know what I mean the um you are what you eat mm-hmm. type shit is it, is just like that where you you're absorbing you all the shit that you're absorbing you're becoming. 
and you're absorbing that dumbass shit. Mm-hmm. And you're becoming dumbass shit because of it. Motherfuckers really thought that this eclipse thing was a fucking conspiracy. Bruh. It, it, it's just, it's just hey, some bro, shit that you, happened in the universe, dog. You, you subbing? I'm, you throwing shots? I, this is a general statement because a lot of motherfuckers made I'm a some dumbass fucking posts. I feel, I take offense. Yo, Yo dumbass boy. Motherfucker don't believe in laughing, boy. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? Yo, I'm just I believe there was something going on. And I still think there was something going on because there was a couple <laughs> weird things about that eclipse. But if you wasn't watching with your eyes wide open, I mean, maybe you're just enjoying nature. Hopefully, it was just like, oh, this is a cool thing to experience in my lifetime. But if you really wasn't watching, you wouldn't have noticed anything, too. But then again, that's out of the ordinary for my everyday life. I'm used to seeing what the sun look like. I'm used to seeing what the moon look like. I notice whether it's closer or farther. I notice when it changes colors. But that right there yesterday. Like I said, I not that. everything mm. is just a theory, but not everything is a conspiracy either. Yeah, but people not everything is black and white. put everything into everything. That's because we a lot of people know it's gray area. Motherfuckers can be skateboarding down the street, and there was a rock there, and then they fly off the fucking board, and they're like, oh, the government put that there. Oh, that, that <laughs> yeah. somebody drove by and did it on fucking purpose to make me fall and break my arm. That's how people are. No, people only like that when it's a who involved. And if it was like fucking it Barack was an Obama example. that was skateboarding, it was an I'm example. like, why the fuck this motherfucker on a skateboard? Oh, it, it was must be example. the government, because if Barack Obama's I'm just saying. Down, like the who and the why matters. Be, just people because ask why. Just because it's something that we haven't seen before or don't know much about. Maybe it just happened. That's it. It did happen. Uh, maybe there's just nothing behind it, but it was just something that rarely occurs because something is just takes that long to fucking line up. That I'm just saying. That's cool. I get it, but there's like no mystery to it. Like, That's was, the thing. People want to fucking put things behind that they don't need to fucking do. So look, it's a mystery in people. It's a mystery in plant life. You know, it's long, a you know how long I it's believe it. Tupac was still alive? That's your fault. Oh, no, all the plant shit backwards <laughs> with all the fucking little random like fucking, oh, you're so alive and we missing you. Like you're playing it backwards and all of a sudden these words just pop out and out of nowhere. It's just all, it's just, you're so alive. You know what I mean? You know, the reason why is when, when you, when you it's the same concept. You got disappointed with Tupac being dead, but the thing that you looked outside, yes, Tupac's dead, but this motherfucker got cloned. And that's what the, I'm a lot of t- shit they're talking. Niggas can clone people. They was cloning fucking goats in 1999. You think they had a technology before then? People said M is a clone. He very much right. If you look at, like, what was the uh, video? Slim Shady video. Hi, what is No, no, no. What's the name? People well, change had, like, over a, time. You know, you know, people get older, they get fatter, they get skinnier, your body changes. Mm-hmm. Bro, clones exist. He can be a clone, too. <laughs> I really feel like a lot of celebrities is clones. I, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Do you, do you believe that people can transfer consciousness? Or is that just sci-fi? How? 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 I don't how, know. How would that be a thing? I don't know. I, I, but there's I don't know how documents that related about that. That's declassified that you can go look up. But I don't know how. But it's just like, even with humans itself, the idea of a clone is a mystery in itself. The idea of people dying and where we go is a mystery in itself. So I've, just, like, I've just learned that. I've just and learned. The is a mystery as fuck itself. Of course, you're going to wonder what the fuck is going on. I have just like, learned. People thought it was the end of the world. People ended battles over this shit. Like. People yeah, years and years and years ago, because they, they knew chickens. nothing about it. They didn't have fucking giant telescopes. They didn't have fucking all this information that we have learned. The, the fucking rotations of the fucking moon and and uh, going around the sun and all that shit. And if we can tell these fucking patterns, that's why we were able to fucking figure out these things. But we didn't know back then because we didn't have fucking internet and all these this different data to fucking say, oh, so this is how this works. So that's the thing. Just that's like true. With the, yeah, that's, true. that's true. You're right about that. Just like with all this fucking shit back in the day when fucking motherfuckers found a book from fucking four thousand fucking years ago and it's oh this must be real. It's old. What did they do to entertain themselves? 
Did they have a TV? They jerked off and They didn't have a TV. <laughs> they know. didn't have fucking anything to entertain them. So what did they do? They told fucking stories. They fucking wrote books. That is what it is. And somebody fucking found the shit and said, oh. And that's, and that's a logical explanation. Mm. And that's what I've learned throughout fucking life is the most simplest explanation is usually the right one. But people want to fucking dig and dig and dig and, and make all this and, oh, well, if 62, if 62 is an 8 and this happened on 8 and then the time and... Yeah. Some things be a stretch, but you lack imagination just like you lack the ability to laugh. And I see it. Because even back then, motherfuckers could have very much just been telling yeah. bedtime stories, but unless you're making money, nobody's going to fucking take the effort to build a fucking book. Like, you got to probably get that shit sent off, handcrafted, and scribed with a big-ass pigeon feather. Like, nobody's going to take the time to write that shit unless, one, it was of some real shit. And I'm pretty it's sure... written on human skin from fucking... Those are spells. BC. Those are spells. <laughs> Those are definitely spells. Yeah, he's watching yeah, me. Should I did the, it right No, right? no. Keep, <laughs> keep going. Keep up. going so I can tell you after. Because <laughs> that shit is lying, <laughs> Keith. You about to be stupid high right now. I, I fucking layered this with Keith. Some blueberry muffin Keith I got from the dispensary. That was actually pretty good compared to the trash weed that I got from there. So the point I was trying to make is about 3,000 chickens got sacrificed during the eclipse. And about 30 people ate those chickens. I ain't eat no chicken yesterday. Actually, I'm I, lying. I didn't say it. I ate some, say, say I ate some chicken nuggets yesterday. Did you, what'd you dip them in? I ate them without the sauce. What the fuck? Hey, man. How you gonna you appreciate dry it? dry-ass chicken nuggets? It don't be dry. How you even swallow them shits? With water. Like, you know what I mean? Like a spoonful of cinnamon is impossible to swallow. How you swallow them chicken? Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> I choke on my food very easily. <laughs> You think I choke with smoking weed? He said, Yo. I have to eat my food with water. <laughs> you fucking chase your fucking chicken f- fucking nuggets with water. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Pretty much. That's like. It's like I'm trying to win a fleet ever, in competition. You ever chase liquor with water? Yeah. But I don't even drink liquor like that no more. No, yeah. but I'm saying, like, what's that like? It's like I, I've never thought even try Like, that don't work. It, it don't works, work. but you get full fast and you won't be at. You just dilute your shot. So, like, if you got, like, a, uh, well, depending on how much water you got, you got about a shot full of water and a shot full of, like, an 8% alcohol. You just made that 4%. All right. Obviously, this is a joke. I know, I know who that is. I'm just saying. But I know what he's getting at. I can't read from here. It's a, it, he said, you the type to apologize for dissing somebody. For dissing somebody? Yeah. Hell nah. Well... You know what just happened, right? J. Cole? Yeah. Yeah, J. Cole apologized. Yeah. Well, if I only said it, I would say I have to have a good-ass reason to apologize, but if I only said it just because I got swayed by the moment and I didn't really mean it and it fucked up a friendship, yeah, I apologize. I'll be the bigger man to apologize. I don't know if the niggas is friends, but what happened to that uh, mixtape that was supposed to first, drop Black right, Friday? So, 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 Ken- so Kendrick dissed him first, and he just responded. Okay. And dropped the whole album. And then said he was going to take the song off the album and then apologize for dissing Kendrick. Yeah. So when Kendrick did it, he won the whole back in the day, what, 2013, right? So mm-hmm. whatever. When he did that, he dissed people that he fucked with. Mm-hmm. And he didn't apologize for that shit. And people didn't take him like, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck Kendrick. We hate him. Now, because he just, uh, you know what I mean? That was a competitive thing. Like, he literally made it a competitive thing. And that's, you know, going back to the um, competitiveness in music. Yeah. It's um, like, with Kendrick, though, like, it seems like he always been like that. To talk shit and stand on it. But I feel like that's what Kendrick wanted was to just some competition. Just get people talking, ha- you know, and uh, entertain shit. the fans. Industry shit. They're cool. They're probably cool. Remember with the, each other. Remember earlier when I was, like, back then, 50% of the beef was uh, constructed? Yeah, this is part of that fifty percent for a fact. They may have said real shit in the midst of it because they had to sell it, make it look real. But yeah, I mean, it, yeah, like you said, it ties back into competitiveness. It was just some lyrical, lyrical shit in a sense. Uh, some stage shit. Yeah, definitely on stage. But they no, still no, got no, no. I'm talking about some other shit that goes. You know, both MGK 
and Eminem are on Interscope. Oh, they are? Both. Oh. They're on the same way. Yeah. I mean, I Intersco- it goes Interscope, then Aftermath, and then Shady was lo- lower than that, but I guess MGK is on Interscope. Yeah. Which is crazy, because we all know the whole MGK and Eminem thing. So, maybe Why not? that was... Why not? Maybe that was staged, too. Maybe they said, oh... I think it, a lot of maybe, it is, maybe it was Maybe it was... Uh, You'll get more attention. I think you'll get more attention from us dissing each other than if we did a song together. But if we diss each other, then we can never do a song together. Right? Type shit. You know what I mean? Unless you wait like ten years and then do it like an anniversary and bring them out on stage and do do their diss songs together and hold hands. <laughs> yeah. Yo, but I listen. I ain't you never. Know, that'd be kind of dope. I bro. ain't never fucking apologize <laughs> for a diss track. I stand on that shit. If I say some shit, it's because I mean it. Um. If I say fuck you, it's cause fuck you. Like, yeah, that's um, if you get me to fuck you. So if I I lose my and and, and a lot of the like times, that, yeah. a lot of times it's, it's just a competitive thing. Like it's not like a murder beef or anything. I'm not gonna fucking shoot somebody or whatever. He's gonna shoot somebody. Music. He's gonna call the but, wise uh, guys. Eh, he's gonna come to wise guys and they're gonna come to your house, but, kick down your door, and stuff pizza saying, crust in your throat. What I'm saying is, I respect <laughs> when people are a good sport about it. Yeah, if they either diss me back or they actually like, they're not just like yeah, you're a hater eh, and block me. You know what I mean? Stupid shit. You know like those that. guys can't handle when the eight year olds be shit talking no more in video like, games. <laughs> like the motherfucker uh, high res that I dissed a couple of times. Uh, he actually ended up following me on uh, Twitter and uh, actually like messaged me back. And when I dissed him, fucking, I was tweeting at him before I dropped genocide, and, mm-hmm. and he was responding and whatever. And um, afterwards, like it was like a respect thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, He's like, hey man, that verse is that, That's that's what I uh, shit. But I ain't gonna fucking apologize for dissing motherfuckers over some competitive shit, especially if they're talking all that greasy shit themselves. I mean, you're not gonna be like, I'm the best rapper, I'm the greatest, and fucking fuck y'all. And then when somebody else comes and disses mm-hmm. you, you you talk about that already. You know what I mean? So like, you can't. So you already much fall into territory. that fucking category. It comes with the territory. Because every bar- rapper going to think that they're the best. If I go on my stint and be like, I'm the best motherfucking rapper to touch the earth. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And I'll be like, and that's my whole brand for like two, three, four years. I'm going to get my fair share of disses. And and there's a difference between like a diss track and a fucking little shot at somebody or whatever. You're just making a, a, a reference to somebody. It's going like, to ignite some competitiveness one way or the next. It might. Or or the motherfuckers take the high road, the little high horse, get on, hop on their fucking high horse, talking about I'm not gonna give them attention. No, the, high, the highest horse is what I do. I'm bigger than you. I'm gonna write it first subtly. <laughs> they be like, oh, you thought you? Wow, what about that though? You mean if I it think, was a I think battle, one, I think one person responded to that, mm-hmm. and it was a subliminal. But there was some, there was some shit that like tied in with my song and his song, and I was like. This could be about me, mm-hmm. and it was you know I was it was honestly Who cool. Bitch, you wrote this it about was me. Cool. Yo, what if I kicked the camera over right there? You'd have been pissed off. <laughs> I'd have had the fucking this thing but right here. You imagine, did, uh, imagine what the camera would look like during it for the clip the, for for the internet. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> you'd be, you'd be big ass shit, foot bro. come to the shit like. <laughs> That'd be but the last nah, podcast. If, if the dude, if the dude would have said my name. I'd have been like, all right, now it's on. But he didn't say my name, and it wasn't, like, too direct. There was nothing, like, 100% I could say, yo, this definitely applies to me. Like, it was like, oh, that could. Mm-hmm. That definitely could apply to me, but whatever. You know what I mean? And these motherfuckers just use the excuse, oh, you're not big enough. And it's like, but but then you're not about the what, actual this? talent. Like, if I diss somebody and the fucking song doesn't just get 100 views, it gets 20,000 fucking views, that's not exactly a flop. Right. I mean, I'm not famous. You know what I mean? So I don't expect to get 20 million views, but I'm saying it's it's better than most people do. There's other disses out there that fucking only have 200 views, 300 views. I look up the shit sometimes. You know why? Because those disses be from motherfuckers that only know two, 300 people. I don't know that many people. I got fucking 20-some no. thousand. You aim up. If you're going to diss, you aim up. 
You don't aim at the Oh, oh you talking about No, I'm talking about people that are not really known that oh, are like be jumping like people. Jay-Z this like, No, 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 no like a, like a token diss and like oh. I you know what I mean like my token diss got a lot of views. Mm. Why didn't theirs? Cuz mine was dope. That's the difference. That's what it should come down to. It's not some it. whack shit. Like I had fucking bars in this shit. I want to see what the other guy got. So he that's like, the scapegoat. Mother is fuck, fuck, you're mother not big fuck, enough. Mother fuck, suck my nuts. Uh, nah, suck my nuts. Suck my nuts. That was hell, nah, man. That's what that. I mean, that's if you got three hundred views, yeah, yeah no, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, no. Nah. But I'm saying like nuts, those people are suck my nuts. Eat it up. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. That's pretty bad. bad. That's pretty bad. And it, the beat be like, boom, dee, boom, it's just boom, amateur. Dee, it's just some <laughs> amateur shit that people think is fucking dope, and they want to call it a diss track and do whatever. And it doesn't really get my. That's the difference in what I <clears throat> what I've done. So my diss tracks actually got views. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Would like, you diss somebody at the level like that's like local level, like do like yeah. that publicity shoot a music video and everything for it. If it wasn't, well, if yeah, it wasn't I mean, smart. I would do it on a like a, on a competitive level, like I said. But um, would you shoot a video for it? I did for the, that one token. To, both. The no, but well, he's from out uh, here. He's from out here. No, no. Nah, nah, I'm talking about. Um, but I know him. Though. Though. I knew him. Yeah, but like, that's we different. were friends. That's different. Do it this. He to, came here. That's different still. <laughs> if I gotta travel hours to see a motherfucker and find him in the city. That's different if I'm this if I'm beefing with him. But if it's like a diss to somebody that is like within 15 minutes driving, I'm gonna shoot a whole music video. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it depends on what it's about. It gotta be some deep shit. Not necessarily, motherfucker deletes me off Facebook. I'll drop a diss track about you. Would you shoot a music video and that drop this track? I don't know about a music video for some like little shit like what that. What would it take, D's? I'm about to smack the shit, but I know you you hit the audio. But it'd, it'd add more emphasis if I did, like, boom! Um, what would it take for you to shoot a music video aimed at a local artist as a diss track? He'd have to fuck you up. That's what it had to be. Beat up a family member. It would have... I mean, down, it would have to be... <laughs> it would have... <laughs> I don't know, because that also depends on what you're talking about, film and music video. Like, all right, so the whole Benzino thing, right? Like, you know about it? You know what he did? Ish, kind of. Yeah. So he, he dissed M in two songs. The one was complete garbage, trash, horrible. The second song was actually pretty decent. The delivery wasn't that great, but the bars were decent. He had mm. decent schemes and shit. He didn't fucking write it. He admitted he was in the studio. Motherfucker started giving me lines, and you know, I'm sure I'm been in the studio, and people probably gave him line here and there. Yeah, he's making excuses. So, so he's making excuses, whatever, and the whole thing was though, what he decided to do was go to the mom's spaghetti restaurant and film the video for that shit at M's restaurant, and that was pretty savage. Yeah, I I give him that. That was fucking savage. Got a one up. Um. That's a different shit, though. Like, that's going to their fucking territory, or whatever. Or you mean, like, just a video in general? Like, you got, like, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, if you want to go to Old Block, you can go to Old Block and then drop the diss. But what I'm saying is, like, just what would get you to that point? Like, what would they have to do to even get you to the point that you would be like, I'm about to film a whole video? Like, just shit. dropping a song ain't enough. Typing a status ain't enough. I got to do both and drop a music video and get 20,000 streams on that bitch before I'm satisfied. Like, what will push you to that limit? Some disrespectful shit. Like? I, I don't fucking know. You gotta throw something out there. I can step on your shoes as disrespectful. It, you go and drop a music it, video. It, it depends on the level of it. Like, uh, fucking somebody I worked with uh, fucking had lots of interaction with and then all of a sudden they delete me off Facebook. Like, so I, you know what I mean? Like that. You? And you'd be like, I'm dropping a music video. Tomorrow. No, no, no. It would. It wouldn't be immediately for that. It would be like take a couple shots at them, mm -hmm. and then if they respond, then it's full on like. Okay, I, so the music video is the reaction. It ain't the. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. Because, okay, okay. cause like, you're not about to diss me in my sport. Right. You're not. You're not gonna win. You're not gonna fucking do that. I'm going to I possibly end your. I'm gonna fuck you up. I possibly end your fucking <laughs> career. Mm hmm. I, I don't care. And that, I'm competitive. That goes back to my competitiveness. Like, I like that shit. And especially if you respond. Like, I had some rap beef back in the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, this dude, 
It was my boy at the he time. Like, you know, we were supposed to be these, friends. You know what I mean? These, these yeah, yeah, pretty much, these. but not really fucking. He said these nuts. No, no, no. He was like, no, yo, I'm no, dropping, no, it was a back and forth. I'm dropping the it music a, video. Listen, <laughs> it was a back and forth. I did do a music video, but it was, it was the, uh, I think it was the fifth this response. Yeah, and it was like. I got to go through your catalog and decipher It's some who. really old shit, like really old fucking shit. Um. I was friends with this dude, but he was acting really fucking weird, never answered my calls. I was drunk one day, and I was like, yo, you don't call me back. There will be a diss track. And then, <laughs> yo, and, and then to warn a motherfucker like that. Yo, but then he wrote some, this was back in the MySpace days, so he fucking. Uh, typed this shit out, posted it on he, his. No, he, yo, so he typed out <laughs> some whack-ass corny rap and messaged it to me. <laughs> and then me and this, this dude that I started rapping with, this literally goes back that far. Um, me and him dropped a diss track, like I said, about mm-hmm. him, but apparently when he got the voicemail from me, he started writing his own diss track, mm. but we beat him to it. It was a race. <laughs> so, to see who fucked so up who he, first. So, he dropped two, which was the original one that he was initially going to diss me with, mm-hmm. and then his response to my and his first diss. And then I responded within 24 hours. Like, that's how hungry I was. I was like, yo, I'm in this bitch. Right. You know what I mean? I'm fucking, this is what I, yo, I'm excited. Like, I was excited for this shit. You know what I mean? I'm writing fuck. And that actually, honestly, what made me better. I really attribute most so you of, think like, my, my. This um, tracks make you better? You think it make my, better? As, as much as I got better, like, you know, you get better over time. But I was doing it, like, I do it at a slower rate than when I do the diss tracks. Yeah, because it's, like, times of the essence now. As like, far as, like, well, now up. it's a little differently because, like, back then it was when I first started, kind of, you know, pretty much. So it's different now because I have a lot more experience already to begin with. So, like, but the but the uh, the amount that I improved from those diss tracks was, like, greater than just doing regular music. Because right. then I got to put something out that's actually dope that people are not saying, oh, yeah, yeah, this one's better. You know what I mean? So that's Drop that. some shit like looking for revenge and make that shit a, a, a hit. What the fuck is that? All summer 16. All summer 16. Looking for that's revenge. What, that's what I thought. Well, yeah. When you said it like that, that's what I thought it was fucking Drake. Bro. Yeah, like make a diss track a, a, a hit song. <laughs> the motherfuckers is playing. Yo, but that's the crazy shit. Uh, I could, though. I could. Do it. I could. Find that's somebody. that's you the gotta, thing. You gotta it's like a no, no. But I'm saying like Drake and Meek. like a diss track that has a hook, pretty much. But it's like actually kind of catchy and shit. That's pretty much what that is at the end of the day. Yeah. I could do it. I could. I've been writing some of the best hooks of my fucking life, and I could come up with one that's me talking shit. Who would it be aimed at? I was thinking about just going at like everybody. Nah, that's the easy way out. So you can be no, like, oh, no, 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 but I'm saying like, you gotta be like, no, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Like, I'm talking names. Like, I did with Genocide. I, I did seven people in that song. Okay, well, that was a little more specific, though. And I said all their names. Okay, that's specific. Every single fucking Everybody name. I even like, went to the spot MGK did Rap Devil and dissed him there and put a fucking second of his video in my video right next to it so you could see I'm in the same spot. Yo, you know it'd be funny if he didn't respond. What would he did is send a copyright infringement type shit on the content. <laughs> Had the video taken down, and that was his response. I don't, I don't think he could because like, it, he, was he used copyrighted it was material. too short. It was too short. It was too short. He lobby his It's way gotta through. be. It's gotta be. That's why like reaction videos, how they're allowed to like do shit and make money off of it because they keep pausing it mm-hmm. and stopping it because it's in small increments and it's all fucked up and shit. That's how that works. Mm. Um, Until he slides Google about, but I only have $2, like $2. literally, it's like not even a full second. So he couldn't even do anything. I don't think if he tried, he, all he do is find the employee. He'd find the employee that uh, is overworked and underpaid. Give him two thousand dollars and be like, "Hey, take this video down. Do <laughs> it violates my rights of copy." And then he ain't gonna do shit. He'd pay a uh, under underpaid and overworked worker at Google. At Google. Yeah, he got to fight about If nobody Machine Gun Kelly has... Why you said Google, I thought you said Amazon. No. Why? <laughs> That's because you smoke weed. <clears throat> and you're an addict. You're a dick. Yeah. And you <laughs> ate dick. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. You ate eight dicks. <laughs> 
This Bro. motherfucker just said some wild shit. Man. I guarantee that line been in some uh, battle rap or some shit like that. Yo, we've been we've been we've been talking about some dope ass shit in this uh last couple episodes. Right. I'm just saying three weeks in a row, I baby. Feel like, I feel I'm like uh, I'm about to make a diss track just because energy. now. Who you gonna diss? The Pillsbury Doughboy? Anybody who wanna diss me, bring it the fuck on. <laughs> Yo, I've been saying this for years, Yo. nobody wanted. We can even fabricate the beef. The people that have dissed Just me apologize. Send, send me a message. Yo. You can fabricate the, a beef. That's we, we choose like a campaign. We're going to either do a 10, 12 week campaign. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Just that. book with me. Book your beef with me. I promise. Book your beef with me. Yeah, we gonna fucking buy comments and views. <laughs> Buying comments and views, yo. How you? Oh my god! Like, like, like getting two million views on a video and only a hundred comments. We gonna get two million views on the beef. That shit's weird. How you get two mil? I got songs that got two, three hundred comments, and there's like ten thousand fucking views. Not two million. That shit weird. Yeah. Sketchy. That's because you. Never mind. Fake. It's fake as hell. I think it's hell, man. I was about to say, that's because you a bitch. I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't never in my life. I don't even pay for the Spotify promo. That I, All them streams I get on Spotify, I don't pay for shit. That's good. And they just... Shit. Psh. I'll pay for the motherfucking Spotify campaign. Like four or five hundred streams Marquee a day. And showcase. I get like four or five hundred streams a day. That shit's dope. I'd be disappointed with Spot- buying ass from Spotify itself. The one song on my album that I thought would have been like the one that they didn't want me to have out. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that got scooped up in the algorithm. Word. And they make everybody listen to. Hell and, yeah. Yo, I'm like, damn. And I'm getting more streams for that than I was, like, before. That trickles down the other shit, too? Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, I have, like, fucking mad views on a couple other songs. And it's like, I, I don't know where that came from, but I'll take it. Right. You know, at the end of the There's day, it's, it's giving me some money. So, yeah, right. it's not much, but... It's uh, more than a lot of other people have. There's people that don't even have a thousand streams on a single song, let alone, you know, every song that they have uploaded. And, you know, right. someone got 50,000, someone got 20,000. You know what I mean? I got, and, and not, of all, not all of them are features either. I got right. solo songs that are 20,000 streams plus, you know what I mean? Right. And again, it's not, it's not like I'm famous or anything, but that's, Somebody fucking I'm listening. in a way better position. You know, I do a lot better numbers than, like, most people. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, aside, like, you have numbers like I do. You know that um, last year when they was talking about the stat, how many artists had their music stream, how many songs had their music stream zero times? It was, like, the hundreds of millions. It's, it's a lot of people that don't get scooped up in the algorithm, that don't get any plays on Spotify because they just pay for it to get uploaded and they don't know how to get people to listen to their music. Right. At the end of the day, I mean... That's what that would translate to is people not just not going to your Spotify and not listening to your shit because you don't get any. Right. Otherwise, you get like five, ten, you know, twenty. Maybe somebody puts a song in your playlist, you get a couple hundred. Right. But um, I don't know how I got scooped up in that shit, but I'll take it. Imagine if I did pay for the promo. Though. Dropping consistently, that's what you do. <sighs> not really. How many songs you got on there? You got multiple albums. More consistent well, than a lot of people. Well, I did the and series singles. of releases in 2022. How many did you drop in 2022? I did. It was like 12 songs, something like that. One with the Crooked Eye feature, the fucking Plus Recognized features. joints, the, the Swizz joint, Evil Laugh, 40 See, Days of Rec Law. So I did that whole thing with 2022, though. But still, and then that's 2023, I only put a, But 2023, I only put out one song, maybe two, maybe a couple features. So I didn't really do anything in last year and then this year. You know, I got the 10-year anniversary album that I dropped in uh, February. And then I got um, I got a whole bunch of shit coming. Fucking, you know, I even showed you, you know, so after we got out the camera last time with all the shit that I've been working on. Um, I do plan on doing a lot of videos this summer. You know, half of it is just the weather. You know, cold as fuck. You don't want to no, do anything. Be you can't be in certain fingers places. Fingers freezing off. You can't, you can't go to certain places while having snow in the background and being cold and shit. Maybe I just want to wear a fucking t-shirt for the video. I don't want to have to wear three pairs of pants and fucking two jackets and shit. Yeah, but every video? Every video. Until you go outside and act like it's not cold. I'd, I'd rather just do what I want to do and do it right the first time and not put out no whack video. 
that's what I try to do. You know what I mean? I try to keep it consistent. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that. Um, they just do whatever is cheap or free to them and release Turn it. Turn the phone sideways at three sixty yeah. <laughs> at three sixty p. And they don't. And they don't think that that shit matters. Like quality doesn't matter. Like your presentation doesn't matter. They're like, nah, they gonna hear it. The- Remember what you said earlier? Talent should be enough. <laughs> this not is where no, it comes no, in. No, 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 not talent should be enough. But I'm saying if the people that actually have talent that put work in, that motherfucker put in work. He filmed this shit himself. Motherfucker see a gimbal on. But if he's trash, he's far. trash. You fucking sprinkle no, fucking powder on. But just cheap. If you got, if you don't pay somebody to do your shit, then they're gonna take you seriously. They might say, "Oh, this sounds good. This is dope." But they're not gonna think, "Yo, this guy is fucking like an actual rapper." Yeah. You know how many people fucking rap nowadays? That just do it because they can. They bought a mic and they're sitting in their fucking room right now. They don't have a booth. They don't Mm -hmm. have a fucking this whole set. Hey man, that was me a couple years ago. Fuck you talking about. Fuck you talking about. But you still went through the actual process, to, you know, for your presentation, though. After fucking years, you but had, you see my yeah, early me shit. too. But I'm saying, once you get to bugger. a certain point, you I gotta her filming some of my shit. <laughs> yeah, but once you get to a certain point, it's like, nah, I'm not about to put on no bullshit videos now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this shit for twenty fucking years. What the fuck, I look like putting a camera on a tripod and fucking filming a video in my room like that. It was like a music video type shit. Say, you know these, what I mean? Like, be, we kind of like if I'm right now, these. If, if I'm trying to fucking <laughs> you put a camera on a tripod and film in your room, you know what I mean? This actually has like a set. <laughs> so we changed we the set. background. We got mics. It's and different. Shit. We changed it. We changed we the background. Mics and shit. This shit feels like a whole fucking set. This doesn't feel like feel kind of hip. This doesn't feel like we just fucking put our camera on a fucking uh, put our camera down standing up and sat in the couch across the fucking room <laughs> called a podcast. You know what I mean? Like this is an actual. Like I took my time and put my effort into actually making this shit presentable and look like yo. Actually, this is a podcast. Right. I fucking I know people that just call everything a fucking podcast. I don't know what the fuck. This is a podcast. It's a visual podcast. I guess most of them are. Uh, this is music related, audio. So he's very competitive. This isn't even necessarily music related. It's music related. The, the whole episode podcast? is called the competitive of music. I just meant the show in general. It's, it's two it's not, music artists. It's, we can talk about it, but we, there's been it's times... Not, it's not been a podcast episode we haven't brought in music some way. But I'm saying it's not podcast. like we rapping out here and playing beats and shit. No, I mean, it ain't a music podcast, but it's a podcast. We just talk about entertainment shit. I guess, yeah. And a lot of it happens to be music. Yeah. We don't talk about... We do that, too. So, like, but I'm saying, like, uh, this isn't... Like, you know which, what's the next music topic y'all motherfuckers want us to talk about? <laughs> Put it in the comments. <laughs> Music topic, music topic. DC say get cut off. It's funny. I be seeing you. I be seeing your reaction. You better, this motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker. No, I'm gonna cut you off again. Watch, watch his reaction when shit. I get all excited and start talking. He gonna be like, "I'm all super <laughs> high and shit." And then you, you put me on the spot. What's the next topic? I don't know shit. No, you I said them. Me them. Oh, them. them. Yeah. Well, they need to say the next thing y'all want us to talk about. Like we keep mind of that shit. Like we be, do. We be reading the comments. Oh, uh, how far are you willing to go for music? Damn. Damn. Sacrificing people? Damn, Damn these is already... No, 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 that, that was a question. That was a question. Nah, you see, you just was a side eye me. Yo, that was a question. He side eyed the fuck out of me. I'm you said, like, how far will you go to make it music? Shit. And I was like, like, sacrificing somebody? And then you look real hard like, yo, that. but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> trying to sacrifice me, bro. Like, help. Yo. I did not. And this is going to be the last the episode question. of the Umbrella Podcast. Bruh. Thank you. It's going to be the last episode with this as the background. I'm, we got we to right. get, get this new background made. You're going to have a new cast member. It's going to be a fucking puppet because I'm dead. This motherfucker is going to look like me. He's going to be D's with his hand like this. Like, hey, man, I curse you. It's V.O. V.O. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> right. D's be ice style and shit. So why, His why, podcast being like a Lamborghini chair like and shit. So tiny. He seemed like he lost a lot of weight. <laughs> you don't look too good, man. You look a little pale around the face. <laughs> you need to eat something, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't want fame like that. It comes with the territory being a music artist. So, yeah, I know it comes with the territory, but I don't really want fame like that. I just want to be good. That's all. And I ain't good where I'm at. No. Hell no. But there are that's, like that's, topics. I'm that's really how when people take it to like that level. Like you want to be a star? <laughs> Zip! Like, like show me you want to be a star. Like, like ah, show you want to be a star. Show you want to be a oh, star. So you talking about? So you talking about Diddy? Damn near. You dug it. Diddy, Diddy, do it. Would you go to a Diddy party? Fuck. No. Is what she's really saying. I was, I, yo, I was about not after hearing that. Fucking I was about to say something that I like. I shouldn't say on the internet. Just because I'm high and I would have blurted it out. Nah, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have meant it. I mean, yeah, she wanted to blurt it out. She, I ain't say it. Say I'm say not saying it. I'm not saying it, man. See, there she go with it. What? No. What are you talking about? Nigga, I'll make it out. Say this fuck. I'll pop my head in. That's weird. All right, then. He with my money, yeah. You know what's involved in yeah, that Yeah, after, nah. Afterwards. It's after not the afterwards. News. It's no, no, not after afterwards. The news. So that's going to be an ongoing thing. Okay. That's not fucking... Come pick up that bag once a year. Before, before I knew what was going on and it was just speculation, I probably would have took that bread. But now afterwards that I know what's going on, a motherfucker escaped like a goddamn heist on a helicopter um, into, into an airplane and they got arrested on the other side of the country. Yeah, I don't think I'll go to that no more. That motherfucker tried to do the great escape. Carmen San Diego type shit. I'm I'm just saying like there's Would you need, go to a day party? I don't need <laughs> fucking super fame and super richness. I don't need, yeah, that. I, need I don't bread, I just want to I just fall wanna, off. I just want to live my fucking life peacefully and comfortable. That's it. That's it. I don't need fucking 12 fucking co- Corvettes. You say animals, but you mean more. You know it won't start and stop at an animal. Yeah, no, that, that ain't going to be no animal shit. Yeah. They're going to be like your your mother. Yeah. <laughs> start, that ass. They're going to be like, start with her toes and work your way up. That ass. That's how. Chop off this. Pow. It's got to be someone that's important to you. That's how they work. That's why you play around with the idea, but the motherfuckers don't play. You'd be like, ha, ha, ha. I got three chickens. We don't want that bitch. I want three of your siblings. Damn. Yeah. But we'll let you pick because we're nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, look, you, you wow. <coughs> See, this is definitely about to be the last episode of the Umbrella um, Podcast. Yeah, I was just thinking, we're going to get canceled. She about to, he about to sacrifice me. She about to sacrifice me. I didn't say you. She I'm go, a damn she motherfucker. She would go to the Diddy party. She probably go to the Diddy party. It's See? Like yeah, no, it ain't right there. not a dude, though. That's the problem. Like, nah, but they still violate. The I be feeling bad for some girls. Yeah, but it's... They be getting violated. It's, and it's probably going to leave with a few less organs like than Vince what you walked Man into. Like, I get, my get Vince violated? For 50 mil and all they're asking for is my pancreas? Take it. That's fine. You no, talk about it's it. It's going to be some other yeah. shit. Not just the organ. They want both of your boobs. <laughs> and, the, and your kidney. <laughs> Yo. He said. But they want both of your boobs. They want something that's special to you. So now you can't even milk your babies no more. See, and this is the thing you you joke about. They're it, gonna, like, no, they, what they, 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 they think like they, worst case scenario. They're gonna make you do some and then record it so they can hold you it hold it over. They'll your just drug you and take your kidney. Take Wake up in the ice bath. She's gonna shit. take your kidneys. It's gotta be she like humiliating. It. it has to be like humiliating. Take one boob. That's Why you more think they make motherfuckers dress they gonna up take like one boob? <laughs> Got a big ass titty right here. No titty right every here. Sing, every single person. All these fucking celebrities and shit, they all That's yeah, that's uh, that was what I was saying. Like that's why that's it's always is. And they be like, yo, suck a couple dicks. And you look you automatically gonna look at me. You're not gonna look at me. You automatically gonna look at me like look at the money. You, you think, but that no. but it has to be it's gotta be something humiliating. You know, you you th- you think of me wrong? Yeah, but it's not gonna be as bad as if you do it as it would be of him. So it ain't gonna work for you. But they ain't gonna want you to do it though. They know you're gonna do it. At that point, they want to relish in my humiliation. And I ain't the type. I ain't gonna let them have it. And I ain't gonna let you it would, do it, it even, unless you want to do it. Just be but that. I ain't gonna tell you to go do that shit. Like it would be some deep shit. I think at the end of the day, 
whatever you want to do, oh I fi- I physically <laughs> am not gonna stop you. <laughs> no, nah, it's not even. It's not, even without money. If we broke motherfuckers and like, I don't know, even you wanna do backflip? I ain't physically gonna stop you. Like, no, wait. Now, if money involves, I ain't gonna stop you. I will vice. Like, if you ask me, what should I do? Nah, if it was me, I wouldn't put nobody <laughs> random dick in my mouth. <laughs> Old greasy ass balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know it'd be an old guy too. Motherfucker shuffle over to you like this. Probably did he. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's gotta be the head guy. The head guy. The he head, give head well, to the head and, guy. And his boys. What if it's like a Jeffrey Epstein guy? Hey. That's what uh, I was that's probably yeah. You get flown off to the island. You wanna be an island boy? That's how they get that's you. That's how that's what that's what they meant. I'm sure. Not Florida. They were talking about the Epstein Island when they said I'm the island to make boys. It. Hmm? <laughs> That's crazy. That's a when you that, want the fame more man. than anything, and you just want to be famous. That is an easy way to manipulate a first person. You gotta be smarter than that. You gotta be more competitive than that. That's all you want, fame. It be some broke ass motherfucking famous people, and we laugh at them every day. And y'all just want to be famous, like bruh. Should be want to be on top of the world. They in got the sense. they got famous and, like and broke because uh, somebody took advantage of them. They fucked up their money. They got taken advantage they of. They got a bonus. record label deal, and they fucking got the bonus and said, oh, I'm going to spend this instead of realizing that that's to produce your album and for promo and all that shit. You get you get a million dollars. You That's not just spending money. Yeah. It's that's not. Do something it's with literally money. not anything that you're supposed to fucking just it's the have worst loan from a bank, but if you t- get that loan, then you better be able and to pay back 10 times fuck. over. And then you blow that money. Now they own you. Mm-hmm. They fucking own you. But like, oh, you know what I think would do that help clear some of your debt? Come on to this ditty party. Come on, come down to this party. Yo. That backyard that bed. That ditty party. I seen that backyard bed. Not with my own two eyes, but I seen it on the internet. You wanna jump on my bed? Yeah. Uh, did he go to the ditty party? Did he do it? <laughs> did he do it? Did he do it? It's, it's just funny saying different ways. Yo, you gotta imagine he, he, being, he's to be that competitive that nah, you like running too, too much. He's he's got he's got the mannerisms and response of a guilty person. Very defensive, extremely defensive. Why y'all say that? Is that camera on? Yeah. <laughs> do the R Kelly your shit? Did OJ do it? That motherfucker pointed yeah. to the whole the camera. Is that camera? The on? glove shrunk and his fucking hand was probably swollen or some shit. Or the glove didn't fit. That's because the glove was modified since he wore it. Or his hand was modified. You know what I mean? What do you think he just wore a baby hand? No, but there's different so ways. Like, well, I ain't really get into OJ thing like that. I'm not a murder file name. like you are. I don't really care about shit like that. You guys like, why? Yeah. Y'all bet y'all like y'all both watch the like uh, old people out. crime yeah. shows and shit, huh? Why gotta be old people? No, what look, look, look. What you mean? What? What, why is it old what does that even mean? Because it's just an old crime show. They got 20 seasons like of the same case? shit and all this shit. <sighs> Fucking nah, old slow ass like, documentaries. Nah, and there's, that there's another one. 22. Old Jebediah slaughtered his granddaughter. Fucking murdered? Fucking in 1920? You think that they don't have like cases from like five years ago? I'm sure they do. And I'm also sure you'll watch that documentary. Jebediah Yo, killed I be getting not bored his granddaughter. And I put the but TV his granddaughter's granddaughter, Jebediah. Jimmy Dye actually went back in the past. They killed his granddaddy. That's an Amish name, ain't it? <laughs> exactly. The Amish found technology that can allow you to time travel back in 1911. They would never allow that. And because one did, he went on a killing spree, killing grandfather after grandfather. Everybody trying to get into time travel. Hopefully the mic didn't pick that up there. You're not supposed to say that name. I mean, we might get canceled from that. No, seriously. In uh, I think in Germany it's completely illegal. Like it's illegal to say his name. Wow. Illegal. It's in Germany. We're not in Germany. Yeah, it's it's red words. It's literally and yeah, even, it's literally a crime to a say his G-Y name. Y word. That's even it. You can't L B G T Q plus. Plus, yeah, like, yeah, you can't say things that, that are literally just like demonetize their shit, cut down the streams that they like because you know they can transcribe everything. Back in the day, you could say whatever. Still can say whatever. No. Fuck, 
You could say it, but people it depends on if people get offended by it. That's the you problem. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. People but aren't if you so worried, offended. Yeah, if you're worried about people getting offended, you probably shouldn't. And with this channel, I want as many people to flood in. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're from Germany, guten tag. Auf Wiedersehen. Bro, we're speaking German in that shit right now. Man. You know what I'm saying? Look at the comment. I can't pronounce it, but... Yeah, it's okay, not, let me read it. Let me read it. It's not, nah, I had the phone in the perfect place. I'll you can't it read it. Place. You can't read that in that's actual German accent. I speak Spanish, bro. Stand that's back. not. Then that's hold my beer. What? That's not Spanish. Sprechen means sprechen now. What the <laughs> fuck? Wow, that was a horrible fucking attempt. Sprechen means sprechen now. Horrible attempt. Guy. It's fluent. Now, actually, stick to speak to Spanish. It. Stick to Spanish. Ask me to speak another it language. It's like you say, like, tomato, tomato. Sprechen, eh? Sprechen, ah. Uh, some... Sprechen, eh? Sprechen, eh? Do you speak no, Dutch? Sprechen, eh? Oh, man. Laugh my ass. Ah, okay. I understand. No, yeah, no. Oh, see, I got the accent. Name. The Dutch accent. All right, all right, all right. right. This I'm motherfucker is going to get canceled, member. too, with his fucking yeah, German con comments, you motherfucker. Like, bro, that German Jesus shit, we're in America. Right. Now, let me stop. Yo, that'd be crazy. Yo. Somebody comes in there and starts speaking Spanish, then another person starts speaking Italian. Like, we got people all over the world in this motherfucker. You shit. notice how those guys, those uh, This Is America, <laughs> don't speak our language. They don't say that to nobody from the European countries. Motherfucker don't speak French, and they be like, hey! Yeah. Bitch, I know you ain't speaking that goddamn French in here. This is America. You can't Why speak. You say that like you about to spit. Because it's America. Say it fucking. You gotta say it with some power. Because we're from America, America, and we don't speak the French. We don't speak uh uh, uh Spanish. Freaking we... French. Yeah, we don't speak German. The the, the Dutch. The Chinese. The douche. douche. The douche. The douche. <laughs> say it like that. Oh we don't speak God. Russian. We don't speak Alaskan <laughs> or South American because this is America. <laughs> you better speak North American when you're on this podcast. Yo, imagine. That's crazy. That's but yo, crazy. like, nah, what's crazy is they don't open the shots. It's not like all people can get it. They like, nah, they specifically like Spanish people. Like, you don't speak that. This is America. You don't speak that, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker be speaking uh, uh, Arabic and shit. They'll say nothing. They probably do. No, 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 no. It's more Arabic superior oh, from right. what I understand. Actually, like, cause I'm googling what that means. What? Oh yeah, they, they definitely watch out what they say in the comments. Yeah, motherfucker, chill the fuck out. You need to chill the fuck out. You gonna get us shut down in this yeah, bitch? It's crazy. If, if if that gets <laughs> y'all shut down, I'm probably gonna get y'all shut down because I probably said some more shit. If y'all go to nah, a clip if, it we, up, if we had if we had like a hundred thousand viewers or even probably like five thousand, somebody probably clipped this shit up and then we probably get reported. Yeah, that too. Well, we could disappear. Yeah, but we didn't say that. He said no, that. that was so. by yeah, I know, I know, I know. He said, I know Stick who by said my it. City I'm him. just saying that it's not. I I know who that is, and I know what he's doing. La Rouge, la douche, la douche. That sounds like an expensive tampon. La Rouge, la douche. Clean your vagina with La right. Douche. La Douche. <laughs> clean, 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 like, your, clean your <laughs> vagina with high uh, high class. With clean your douche. Kinder Totten. <laughs> kinder we, we, Totten. We talking about zombies? zombies. <laughs> that zombie pussy. Clean your Yo, Kinder Totten. You got this La Douche your Kinder Totten. You got this zombie <laughs> pussy. Yo. Yo, zombie pussy be nasty, bro. Imagine. <laughs> All scaly and shit. Like, sc fall it off. You said that like, like, you, like, like you experienced it before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just imagining it. I've seen what a pussy yo. looks like, but a zombie he pussy? He said, yo, zombie pussy be nasty. No, I want to like blue waffles. That looks even worse than zombie pussy. I've never Googled this, so I'm not going to tell you what blue it looks waffles? like because I've never done it. Oh, my God, nah. bro. It looks worse than zombie What you think? Yeah, what you think zombie pussy looks like? That looks worse. Like blue that waffles looks look worse. Yeah, oh it really God. does look worse than fucking zombie pussy. And everybody that's watching this, I like, mean, Google people, blue waffles if you haven't seen it. You'll see what the fuck we're talking about. It looks like blue roast beef. Why <laughs> blue muffins? Why? Growing there out was it was at muffins. one point when people were like it was like a thing that people were tricking people to do. Ooh, ooh, Google blue waffle. There's actually, a and thing. then people would look at it and they'd be like, "Oh, nasty." Also get it too. You about to do it? Yeah, I'm googling. Oh, come blue on, waffle. dude! I don't want to see it. Also get it. 
everybody needs to experience blue waffles. I have not experienced it all these years. I don't want it. Listen, you know what else I... That's crazy because he said it. I was just about to say it too. I have never watched Two Girls, One Cup. I saw, I saw like the first maybe 15, 20 seconds. And then I was like... And I looked away. I looked away like this. And I didn't look at the screen. Bro, Yo, look at him. Yo, chill. Look at him. Yo, come on, dude. I'm just going to squint my eyes. So that I looks worse than zombie yeah. pussy. Oh, my oh, God. Man. Look at that one. Come on, man. Look at that one. These are like a zoom, up. It's like a zoom in of like a, a tentacle. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like a, a, a fucking tentacle under a, a microscope. Yo, I wish... I for one, I wish this wasn't YouTube, so we, you we wouldn't get in. censored. Yo, what? You want to get his fucking... Yo, chill. Wow. Yo, chill. Look at this goddamn blue waffle over here. Look at this shit. Bruh. Now, imagine if you had this shit growing out your pubics. Yo. It looks like a bunch of cells. Obviously. Now, imagine... Uh, that's a, <laughs> yo, that's funny. He said three rappers, one diddy. Yo. <laughs> this motherfucker got scabies on the ass. Yo, what is he doing? <laughs> He's, he's gonna get this video taken down. This whole live is gonna. They're gonna cancel y'all. It's like this motherfucker got scabies. Bruh. Blue waffle syndrome. How you get on your butt? This is and back. YouTube. This isn't fucking Pornhub. This ain't. Por- this disease. <laughs> this is health awareness. They That's why they talk about this nasty shit in school. Show that shit. They talk about this nasty shit in school all the time, scaring fucking 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds about all the diseases, but skip over this nasty ass shit. This is awareness. <laughs> Somebody said one man. <laughs> one man, one jar. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what you put in the jar, bro? Uh, put, yo, put that yo he was supposed to come bring a pizza, so man. He was supposed to come bring a pizza and fucking. You got some fun. Yo, this motherfucker was supposed to bring a pizza. Talking about I can't make it, but he's in the comments the whole time. Yo, what the fuck is with that? Pizza, come on, man. Motherfucking pizza, motherfucker. So, so he would have, he would have been here. He would have been here speaking German instead of typing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have did that, which would have been it would have been great because then you know he would have actually said it right. Right. And I would have still corrected him because I know how to speak German better than Germans. I know how to speak every language. Nobody can fuck with my linguistic skills. Speak like an ancient language, like do some like ancient Aztec shit. Okay. You said every language. Chumalaya, so both of them fall. Say that's some bullshit, because I don't know <laughs> it, so like, he can just say whatever, and then be like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's fucking Aztec, bro. You got to tap into you gotta tap into these goddamn crystals, nigga. You start remembering your uh, past versions and shit. You see, yeah. this, one, this one helps you tap into your memories and shit. This type of quartz. You, see? you know what I'm saying? That's, Lemurian that's what, quartz. That, that's how you get into Diddy's party. Holding these Lemurian quartz. Oh, offering this shit. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, you gotta pull up with the two black balls and be like, what's the password? Be like, trick yeah. question. There is no password. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Which password? Here's my balls. <laughs> Put, yo, I shake these shits like goddamn dice. <laughs> you wanna protect yourself? You gotta shoot dice with these shits. What's the purpose? Two. <laughs> <laughs> What does it mean? Like, what, it means what, two, nigga. You got more than two in there? I got multiple stones. You want to see them? Oh, you got... you got. I saw the crystal, the little pointy thing you're going to kill somebody with. Yeah. yeah. You, well, there's the obsidian. This you the got two different size balls. That's no, weird. Two Does that reflect things. like how you... What, what you got? Yeah, actually, both of them is really big, but that's another thing. That's <laughs> like know, some Dragon Knight shit. Some Dragon Ball shit? Dragon Knight, some shit like that. I forgot the name of it. I got to go back home and look at it. And this is like Lemurian and quartz or some shit That's like that. Oh, like, um, uh, so this this is the one they use during the eclipse. Huh? This is some. <laughs> this is some um fucking shug shugite sh- shungite. These well these are right here supposed to help with radiation. Like the these absorb radiation. Unless it was green, fizz got be green. But this what is this like some obsidian? Nah, that's like. Shungite shine, or some shit, shit like that. Shine. Shug Knight. Right. Sh- Shug Knight. <laughs> yeah, like Shug Knight. That's Shug Knight Shug over there. Shug Knight. You got a Shug Knight in a pouch in your pocket, dog. It's, it's all for protection. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you get you protected. Really said it's all for protection because that rock is really sharp. You know what I'm saying? I just huh? put it. Be- <laughs> what if it was to eat human for it? What? 
See, it's all they talk about the Illuminati shit. Every time you come around, the talk about the Illuminati shit. No, nah, if he was eat, cook brain. Cook brain? Would you eat cooked brain? No, you're not supposed to. It makes you stupid. It's fucked up. Sure. It's, it's not. There's a magic number. Literally, like, you're, you're not designed to. You're not designed to digest that. You, you. You can poop it out. It's, it has negative effects. Mel, you're pretty much letting people know that you can be bought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they give you fifty thousand and you be like, get some, you gonna get, your phone's gonna start ringing with some weird numbers. Uh-huh. Fucking, I give you fifty thousand to eat this toe. It's fifty thousand dollars. It's gonna be worse than a toe. Yeah, okay. Have you 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 five hundred thousand? No, because you're still talking. A house toe? Prices. I know you would eat a toe. You're you talking would. house prices. I'm gonna need more than that. If for a human toe, no, fifty mil. That's the limit. That's my number. What's your number? I ain't got a number. You said five hundred thousand. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Where you get that information I'm from? I just asked if 500,000 was the... So you said 500,000. Where did that information come from? You I don't have a number. You said 10 million or some shit. That's a, okay, 50. That's the whole time a, I've been saying, saying like, I ain't doing that shit. Motherfucker. Y'all wouldn't even talk for 50 million. Y'all saying that because y'all... Yeah. Y'all <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think I'd physically be <laughs> able... Nah, 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 wait, wait, wait. She not capping because oh, I ain't gonna no. front. Yo. If a motherfucker laid that toe right here, <laughs> like Stop put the little leaves on it and shit. I don't know if I'd physically be able to actually <laughs> ingest it though. Put some fucking like they be like doing the shredded cheese. Yeah, and, like, but you still gotta you, grind some pepper. Wide open. You telling me that you're not gonna get the motherfucker? Bag of money ain't in your mouth. But it's right the there. The fucking toe will be oh, in you your. Eat the, the toe. You gotta eat the bag. <laughs> you gonna eat the toe, choke on it, and die. On the toenail. No, you won't. Oh my god! <laughs> it cuts open your fucking larynx and shit. <laughs> you die. Yeah, that would be. Nah, uh, be, nah. I probably would eat that. Ain't yeah, even. I eat that fucking toe for fifty with the nail on it. Yeah, <laughs> nail on, bro. It's like eating motherfucking uh, 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 shrimp with the hearts. shrimp with the motherfucking skin on it. I don't see none of that shit. Where do you see the fucking hearts? Where's the... mm? Yo, where's the? Yeah, we keep this going. Oh my god. See, so Yo, we talk like, about we talk about this ridiculous shit in here. Mm, fucking with the ridiculous competing, eating shit. toes and, and shit. And competing, eating, we sound like rapping. Competing, eating toes, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that is a competitive motherfucker. If you eat a toe to be at the top, listen, oh, get to one of them parties. Uh, everybody open up a little plate. He said, "This nigga got a toe on his shit. This nigga got macaroni. Say, say, this nigga uh, got like chicken. <laughs> nah, everybody got normal shit." And then you just got the toe. It's taking, it's taking, <laughs> and I'm, they all looking I'm, at you. This is taking, I'm on your toes to a new level, you know what I mean? Yo. I'm on these motherfuckers' toes. Now you're eating Standing them. on all fuck? ten toes. Right. It's Standing on business. Eating all ten. Okay. What if they got, you got to eat the whole foot? <laughs> it's 50 I need, I need She said if times. it's fried. Fried foot. Yo. I, I'm a light eater, so I don't think I can eat a whole foot. <laughs> like even the whole chicken breast and, and like. Just not tasting that toenail, you gonna throw up. I know you. We talking fried? Oh my god! You know what I do? They gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm a light eater. If I'm entertaining though. the idea, it, I'm, what I'm gonna do, and they gonna be mad about it, I'm gonna take it and reprepare it. They gonna Yo. bring me a whole fucking foot. I'm gonna be like, hold up, I'll be back. Give me like Yo. an hour and a half. Come out with that <laughs> shit, looking all nice like Chinese <laughs> food and shit. Imagine right? like a low man on the side with fried foot strips. <laughs> now where that fifty? I'm gonna just put it right in front of me so I can eat this comfortably. Yo, he said, if the shoe fits. Right. Get it. If, if the, the shoe fits, fits <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Yo, imagine imagine they say you got to eat the whole foot. And you get through half of it. And, and then if you get through half of it, talk about I'm a light eater. So you just ate half a foot, but you didn't eat the whole thing. So you don't get nothing. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be embarrassing, right? That'd be really you'd, be, you'd be embarrassed about that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn, <laughs> I just ate a half a foot for no reason. No, you got to finish dog. it. Or you, it's a wrap. Yeah. They'd be like, I got another way you can make the money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why you keep going to that? <laughs> because you know that's where they go to. But the guys that fell off the airplane and had to eat their friend's body to survive, they said that when all hell breaks loose, when they cook the meat, it tastes like you talk about. Meat. You talk about uh. That's survival. That book, I, that children's book you no, used to read no, no, no. in school, this really happened. Lord of the Flies the or some that, shit. No, the guys really. <laughs> They, they, the plane got stuck in the, the snow mountains. No, snow mountains. Them motherfuckers have been gone. 
Oh, oh, you're talking about some old shit. Nah, we, I, would, I would try to stick it out because, you know, you probably be a, have a better situation trying to survive with somebody. Up. It was one's already dead. So they were like, okay. There's oh, well, they preserved. This in snowy mountains. Like, Bro, you're talking two, three days. You can't eat no leaves or nothing. There's it's just snow. There's not even a okay, You can't have no snow, snow cones and no shit. Cage, no cave. No cave. You know what you could do? They wasn't creative. It was wolves out there. What they had to do was they had to bleed the body and let the wolf smell it. And then when no. they come, they jump on the wolves. That's what they were talking about. They I mean, at that point, you might as well just eat the people. It's, it's a whole lot harder to kill, build to kill wolves than eat people, All I know dead is people. That they ate their dead friends, and they said they tasted like meat. Build it. It was meat. It was meat. But it was meat. They ate that shit raw as hell. How you starting a fire? Oh, they burnt it. Like, they started a fire inside the airplane. Oh. That was in there. Oh, so, so they, they had a shelter then. Yeah. They took it back. Was like, Argh! and when the guy was like, motherfucker was, was alive as hell. I was really hungry. It tasted like what it was supposed to taste. You would eat your own leg. So yes, I would eat a whole foot. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not my own leg. Nah, this you wouldn't. This ain't soft. We ain't doing all that. If it comes to survival, well, they didn't eat. I would eat oh, leaves like, and shit before I try to eat somebody. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. There was the one soft. But if I can't we eat them leaves it. and them leaves make me throw up or something, or I doubt it would. But if I really can't eat leaves and then like I just get like poison ivy and shit, then whoever <clears> I'm with, they gotta. Yo, go. that would be crazy. <laughs> you gotta eat. First of all, time on the top of a snowy mountain, there's no leaves up there. I mean, you just eat snow. But what would be crazy is if there was like just animals out there and they peed on the leaf, and then instead of evaporating, it fucking froze because it was. Cold and you ate that leaf and you just ate the pea. It's seasoned. What the fuck? That, that was a punchline. That was it's a punch fucking line. seasoned. Yeah, yo. winter. Oh my god, yo. Mm-hmm. It was seasoned. That's cr- <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's gonna be my new laugh, these. Meanwhile, you still can't laugh. You ever notice that? I I done laughed like mad times. This no, whole bro, that's time. chuckles. And you fuck. What are you talking about? He wants you to die laughing. Yeah, you don't laugh, my nigga. You you chuckle. You ha 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 ha. He be doing like this when he laugh. Ha ha ha. Man, you just making shit up. Of course, you're making shit up. You motherfucker. Why not? Because you got your mouth covered for half the episode, so nobody would really be able to tell if I ain't say it was cap. And actually, I could just cut this shit 15 seconds, and then it'll be fact until somebody watched the whole fucking hour-long video and realized uh, it's cap. Social media for the ass. How could better you would get? You want to diss me, D's? <laughs> nah, let me stop. If I diss somebody... See, see, this motherfucker said he laughed for the fucking three rappers one Diddy line. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, he didn't. He said, ha! fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. We wind it back. We wind it back. You'll see him. He slapped his knee and everything. <laughs> Yo. No. Yeah. This motherfucker just making jokes for the camera. Of you course they're making the jokes for the camera. D. That's the point. I so will, I can clip it? I will turn your mic off. Although I probably won't clip it. I will turn your mic off. Somebody will clip it. <laughs> And they'd be like, this motherfucker, these never laughed. And they'd get every instance that you chuckled when you probably laughed. And they'll That's just a like, laugh. It counts in the practical jokers. The motherfuckers are, oh, if you laugh, it counts. And then the motherfucker be like, <laughs> and then it counts. Pops up at the bottom. So that's a fucking laugh. It does count in that show. God damn. Even a chuckle. They, they look good. Yeah. Chuckle, chuckle is chuckle because it's chuckle. Chuckle sounds like a serial killer clown. Let me just put that out there. That's, you don't ever hear a serial killer clown crazy. called Happy and laugh. Well, maybe happy. Yeah, maybe that happy. Was a, that was a bad example. There's <laughs> definitely a maybe happy. Named happy. <laughs> All the yeah. little kids like, oh my god, he's happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Gosh. What the fuck? <laughs> Start stabbing kids in the this gut and shit. That motherfucker was Yo. real happy. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. Yo, yeah. we should. Definitely have some guests on this motherfucker shit. We should at this point we should have had you in like this shit. Vibes and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yo, now offer still up. To it. Bring a piece so we can be a guest. And then I ain't gotta worry about fucking talking fifty percent of the time. I could just sit back and be like, damn, I'm high as shit. I don't know what the fuck to say right now, but these motherfuckers got this shit. Mm-hmm. You know, when we do this shit like this, you know, we have to just constantly be talking. 
That's what all it times helps to have some synergy because that's this. how you retain it. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like uh, you know, it doesn't get boring. It's kind of like it's kind of like when fingers. you're at a fucking show and you have that like ten minute interval between sets and everybody goes outside for a cigarette. Yeah, it's it's like that where you just get like this little thirty percent of the crowd like, leave. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, money. for us to be able to do this shit, we have to fucking just keep it going, and it can get difficult sometimes. Which is why I strategically talk over these. If you didn't though, we could spread out the dialogue. I strategically talk, talk over these. <laughs> strategically. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just fucking doing this, huh? Eat your bubble now. We say we should strategically talk over these because. Like what? Like what type of like a game? A question. Yo, what would be dope is if we took like callers. Yeah. Um, do do that that would be dope because I could set it up to the point where like it wouldn't be my actual phone number and people could actually still like call it and then I could I'm gonna leave these phone I numbers. I have it set up. <laughs> I could have it set up to the point where the call will go through the audio. So like the stream we hear it, I wouldn't have to like put my phone up to hear that. That would probably be pretty dope. What if we get the little hot make a little phone. bit more interactive and shit for people that are watching and you know they could have their little. They could have their little f- fucking. Right. Mm. What would you do for fame and but that sounds so Illuminati. Why you keep going there? I'm just yeah. giving an example. We're just trying to be controversial. Well, trust me, yeah. if you have some strangers <laughs> and you ask that question. Right. You hear the most sickest answers. <laughs> and I, I want to believe in the good of humanity. These already know that doesn't exist. But I want my innocence to remain. What are you rem- talking remain. about? That's my problem. You don't I laugh. See the fucking- <laughs> That's the problem. I know you don't think the good in humanity exists. There's all these people that would disagree with you. Uh, you're just high and you're not paying attention. That's what, what a laugh truly is. Did see what I say. I believe the good in humanity. I really do. Because I'm good at the heart of it. And I'm human. It. Yeah. From what I know, yeah, I'm but fucking you human. Can't, but uh, another thing that I've not learned is you, is can't, good, you but like, can't expect you from everybody else. No, but the fact that you I might produced, be a good person, but th- that doesn't mean that there's other people that are like you that are just like that. There are. There are, but it's not, not as many. But yeah, I will get that. That's what I'm saying. There's not. I got something called every, the Greg Burt theory. Yeah. What? The Greg Burt theory. Ah, uh, why I get some? And I, I came up with this. That. I know, right? Because it's probably de- <laughs> deja vu. There's a Greg Burt in every town. In every city, every country. Looks just like him, too? No, no, no. What I'm saying is who he is as a person. There's a him no, in every no, town. No, I no, did, I, did, I did see somebody else that look like just Greg? like him. With the like beard Rochester, or without the beard? Like Rochester or something. I was he was like, out oh, there. That looks just like Greg. He'd be out there. Probably was fucking him. No, 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 it wasn't. Oh. It was, it was, some, like, hey, some, other, it was like some other freak. place. <clears throat> it was some other place. And I was like, yo, Cause, you know, everybody said, you got a doppelganger, like every city's got this, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who cloned Tyrone shit? You used to watch that movie? What? Who cloned Tyrone? I don't know what the fuck that is. <sighs> Obviously. See, this will go. See, if you were black, these, rabbit hole. if you were black, you probably know, you probably seen that movie. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Why you gotta go there? Because it's like a black movie. <laughs> I mean, it's some it's her movies that I wouldn't see because I'm black. Like, oh, if you're white, you probably wouldn't have seen this movie. I've seen like, a lot of Groundhog I've Day. seen a lot of. I heard movies. of it, but I ain't never see it. Would you say that about Friday? Yeah. It blew up, so it's like, it's like I saw that shit when I was like nine years old. That's that's hood classic, but that's also like like I'm talking movie, about when the first one was out. His movie career. Like I'm talking about when the shit first came out. Like you watching the movie? There? Seen it? No, I mean I was fucking. It was like a couple years old. And Nineteen ninety, fucking whatever year it came out on a VHS, and that was recorded. And I yeah. remember it being on. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I seen that shit before it was like a cult classic. Yeah. I mean I've seen. I have. That's a black. Movie, I have a pretty wide a variety, variety of movies. I, I've seen a lot of fucking movies. Man. Have you seen? Let me think of a real black movie. Keep on going, though. I'm going to think of a real black movie. I'm going to just toss it out. Pootie Tang. Nah, Pootie Tang ain't that black. You seen Pootie Tang? Uh, probably parts of it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I definitely know uh, the movie. Yeah. It's, it's fucking... It's a Chris Rock movie. Isn't it? You see CB4? Is, it, what, is, is that an acronym? 
No, that's the title of the movie. Okay. All right. No, I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. That's what I mean. <laughs> you said two movies. <laughs> but it was easy to just like pick black movies out there. Like, toss me some white movies and let's see if I know them. Like, things that you would assume that I wouldn't watch because I'm black. It's okay. What did you say? I'm reading the comments. I so it's a big fan since uh, the CB homicide. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? So it's, it's always dope when people go back to some old shit. That was what five five years ago. Holy shit! You trying to change the uh, subject? So, toss out no, a white I'm, movie. I got a fucking toss out a movie of predominantly Caucasians that I probably wouldn't have seen because I'm black and lived in a predominantly God, black man, house. Why you gotta make me sound like an asshole? I'm sounding like the asshole. I'm just being very specific. So you don't change the topic. I toss out another black movie. Toss this shit out like nice. <sighs> I don't because I don't look at it like that. Ah, come on, man. I'm not. Yo, I just I okay. watch movies. Talk I just me, watch talk movies. Me a Japanese like, movie, a Chinese movie. I don't fucking know. Drunken mask, drunken boxer, Legend of the Drunken Boxer, Kung Fu Hustle, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Boom. See, see how easy it was when it was the only one movie. that I know that. See how easy it was. Super famous. Okay. Toss me a Italian <laughs> movie. What, The Godfather? Close enough. Now toss it me a is. black movie. Well, wouldn't that be Friday? Uh, okay, now do a, a white movie. Uh, a Christmas Story? Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't know, because that's like a... That's, that's pretty a fucking white. I ain't going for it. But I've seen it. So that's... Uh, well, no. so Because you you that, that's mainstream now at this yeah, point. Yeah. It's like 24 hours every year. But that was a good Christmas one. Like... Miracle uh, on 7th Street and shit like that? You know, never seen it. No? Never, never seen it. I see it a lot of motherfucking Christmas movies. 25 Days of Christmas that used to be on ABC? That's what poor people that, used when we, had, when we didn't have cable, but we had ABC. I probably seen or, it. If it was yeah. old like that... No, it wasn't like, on cable, yeah. It's old shit. I pro- I probably have seen like because my my daddy like you know during Christmas time they would always put on like Christmas movies and shit. All right, so maybe. Christmas movie don't like count. older like my grandma like you know shit like that like that's holiday shit though that's if it's that theme you know what I mean. Dukes of Hazard type shit is what I mean. But I've seen Dukes of Hazard. Never seen. You can't it. use that. Never seen it. Oh God, these don't tell me I'm more pop culture than you. I'm more. I'm I just more said, I watch I watch movies like a lot of different movies, Toss but I don't. Hey, white movie. You see, I, I could just, like, let them all. I'll tell you now. It's like rapid fire. I could just do it. What? A white movie. Say it. No, I'm saying you. What are you? I don't know what I don't know. I, tell you, I don't know it. <laughs> what was that movie called? Malibu. Um... Malibu Most Wanted? Yeah. Nah, that was, like, a hood white movie crossover. <laughs> that don't count either. Like, uh, it's hard. Yeah. I would say the that's most that's accurate that's thing that's is, like, that's nah. a, That's a that's comedy. Not. That's not... That's a crossover. That's I'm talking about like crossover. predominantly, if not all, 100% white, like Home in the Prairie type shit, but a movie and not a TV show. Scooby-Doo. I've watched it. Scooby-Doo is a bad example. That's that's a, a yeah, that's too mainstream. Nah, nah. It's, it's a it crossover. What I'm saying is like how, like I said, CB4. When and it's like, hmm? The Mask. The Mask. Nope. You name it mainstream things. Underground shit. That's you're not gonna get in a movie theater yeah, because they be make enough money. Like a cult classic. Yeah, like it's not really. Like I'm gonna like... get you, sucker. You watch that? All right, Dolomite. I know about it. Never seen it. Watch the old one or the new one. You know about? Uh, it. I said I knew about it. I didn't okay. say I seen it. either one. Okay. A lot of movies brother? I haven't seen though. Undercover I, brother. I know about that. Okay, 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 okay. Um. So yeah, rapid fire. Would would uh. What was it like Soul Plane or whatever? Is that with Snoop Dogg in yeah. it? Is that? But that was like a that, big, big you, one. Yeah. You but not. You would. That was you not would. A big would one. It became big, big afterwards. You would. You would. Cult classic. Call that. Yeah. But you still. I'm waiting for the white movies. I'm trying to get put on something I can watch later. I Somebody don't in the know, comment goes, man. Freaking fucking, fucking, fucking Dolomite. Ew. <laughs> Yo, I don't. Dashboard is white. I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm Billy the Black. And I'm black, y'all. I just watch <laughs> movies. I'm not like... I, I'm, I'm really not hard to like please when it comes to movies. Like as long as it's not like super shitty or cheesy or bad production. Like if it's on and I'm kind of like watching it, I kind of get into it. And I want to see the story play through. Like I'm not... I, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm sort of picky on my movies, but I'm not. So you like, can't put me on is what you're saying. I've seen a lot of movies, but I don't know what we would declare, like, all that shit. Like, I never looked at things like that. I don't. That? Well, I mean, Netflix look at things like that. 
I'm not Netflix. I don't even use Netflix. <laughs> them motherfuckers want to charge you like 25 bucks a month. You ain't got to get it for 25 yeah. but What you do is you use I go a on a website. Account. I go on a website that has everything that Netflix has and more and get everything for free. I use family members' accounts. You got to pay for that. No, you don't. You got to have a relationship with a family member. No, you have to pay for the password sharing. <coughs> I ain't you pay. have to pay for the password sharing. They will detect your IP address and they will say, oh, this isn't the original owner's IP address. I don't have to pay. I'm just going to put, I want to put you on unless, unless the person who pays for it pays for the password sharing. Hey, man. I do that. After Maybe show, that's the I'm case. Put you you on. Don't even know. I'm going to put you on later on. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's but no after no this, because I want to put that in I'm going to put you on. If you want it. But if you could love your website, then stick to your website, which you can't even give me a good suggestion. My website is reliable. Okay. And filled with porn and ads. Nope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nope. What's your website? F Movies? Full HD. Full HD? Really? As soon as it comes out on digital or uh, mm. you know, disc or whatever the fuck that thing is that people buy, it goes on its website. Okay, I use that. Like, 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 like midnight when No yeah, Way Home yeah. came out on digital. That shit was right up on that website. Maybe mm-hmm. even the day before. Oh, I forgot I had Blue Waffles searched up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't get hit. What dot com? Uh, what dot com? For what? The website? No. You said full HD. No, a full HD is the quality of the video. Ah, this motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You be in your own world sometimes. And I thought, that's a lot coming from me. I be in my own motherfucking world. But for me to recognize with you, these, you have a problem. You have a drug problem. This motherfucker. And, you- <laughs> you know, and I'm cra- trying to help. The crazy part is that the, the, the camera screen been getting darker this whole time because the sun been going down and I got the fucking curtains open. You trying to call me so black? I look. See, I'm just talking about the camera. See? You want to go there? See? This Tracy motherfucker. Can't, Tracy can't name a white movie. Man. Name three Asian movies. You can't two put black me on the spot. I'm not a type of person you could put on the spot. I know and one, I have I smoke weed, And then when motherfuckers ask me, name five, blah, blah, blah. And then I go blank. Uh, uh, That's how it works. It, I don't know. I know. I have fun with it. Like, I've seen, I've probably seen a lot more movies and shit that you would think, but, like, yeah. I can't name them. I watch more anime than you. I can't name them off the top of my head. I, I can, you I can. You just watched different movies than me. You didn't watch more. I watch more. What was it? Was it Step Brothers? More anime. Step Brothers. Step Brothers with, with, uh, uh, Will, uh. With Evil Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell and, uh. Evil Will Ferrell. The other dude. Wario. <laughs> That motherfucker that look like. That shit is on TV all the time. Well, Not the funniest part of the movie, though. What, was it censored? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, 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 that should have me dead, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. American Pie. What about Man, those are co- uh, college they're movies. They're white music, movies. You can't sit here and say they're not white movies. Those are white movies. They're solidified white movies. Yeah. Yeah. I can agree with that. Dude, where's my car? Uh, yeah, know. you should have tossed that out, bro. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you gotta toss shit out, and I can just agree or disagree. That's what you get. Nah, I, I was trying to get you to put me on. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Neither. I, I don't know I, shit. I don't, I don't know, know shit. Shit. I mean, I, I don't know that off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. I'm not good with that shit. Oh, I, don't, I I've probably I've definitely seen at least like most of Ted. I've never actually watched it. I don't think. Not that That's I can pretty remember. Good. Both of them. They made a TV show about that shit too. It's got mm-hmm. the it's got the dude who does uh, Peter Griffin's voice for mm-hmm. Family Guy. Pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Watched it multiple times. And I don't do that with a lot of comedy movies. Sometimes the joke be over one time. Like that. The other guys. That was something I can watch over and over and over. Was Will Ferrell? No, I know what you're talking. Zoolander. About. No, I know what you're no, talking about. That's together. why I know what you're talking about because they did that. It was a night at the Roxbury. Was it? Uh, yes. When the dude broke the window because they were doing it in a car. Yeah. 
remember. It's all I remember is the window. It's a white movie, but I don't remember the name. That's that's something you should put me on. It's the only thing I remember. I've probably seen it. It's the window thing. Yeah. Because the head nodding thing was like uh, their thing uh, throughout the sh- the whole oh, fucking movie. movie. So like. They were brothers. I don't and know they know. broke the window. I don't remember it who was it like is. Step brothers before they were step brothers. No, they were brothers. Brothers. Mm. It was just one was smaller than the other one. Hmm. <sighs> I don't remember. I don't remember the actors in that shit. It was Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell was in there. Will Ferrell. He was just young as shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know my favorite Will Ferrell movie he is. Fucking um. <laughs> yeah, but I don't what remember who it was. Um, it was one the Will Ferrell movie where he fucking time traveled or some shit like that in the past. Land before Land of the Lost. That movie was crazy. Land of the Lost was my favorite fucking Will Ferrell movie, oh bro. My God. He outdid himself and the writers outdid himself. It was just like real creative, real funny and shit. <laughs> that was a good movie. Yeah, you didn't see that, did you? What was it? Land oh, of the I, Lost. Oh, I probably did. I probably did. He had like a time traveling machine and he went back in the past or another dimension or whatever because it was like a blend between all the past, present and shit. Yo, you know who's funny in movies? John Cena. John oh, for this Cena. hilarious. There's, I would not have guessed. Yo, so he's actually been doing a lot of like adult like movies. He was, he, he, yeah, it was the, um, it was the one with Mark Wahlberg. Daddy's Home. Yeah. That's the one. But no, he's, he did like, uh, I think it was like called Best Friends or something, or Friends or uh, Vacation Friends or something like that. Like he's been doing, he's been doing a lot of like more adult oriented, like swearing, doing drugs, fucking getting alcohol, like, like things you wouldn't think John Cena would be doing. Sounds fucking like hilarious. Hilarious. No, it's hilarious. Yeah, it, this motherfucker was it, just on Monday Night is. Raw last night. He ain't fucking spiral. What are you talking about? Maybe his clone was on Monday Night Raw. Nah, <laughs> While he, thing. the real John Cena spiraling out somewhere with a needle in his arm like. See, down the <laughs> rabbit hole again. This is... Yo. If you don't think that should exist. Man, I cut you off. <sighs> if you don't you think that should exist. You smoke too much. I only took like four or five puffs. He said that's too much. for you. <laughs> <laughs> I be sober talking like this. My mind is a vast and mysterious place that no man can explore, man. <laughs> Diddy would beg to differ. Diddy would be the first one to realize no man can explore. He was exploring though. Not my mind. <laughs> Yo. Diddy would try to explore. Diddy's like the black door to explore. He go everywhere. Oh, oh my god. He have human feet in his backpack. <laughs> what the nah, fuck? let me stop. They gonna come after me. So you saying he ate the foot? He was like the first one to eat he a foot. He the was foot. the first one to eat a foot. He designed the foot. That's where it came from. Yeah. If I did it, everybody's got to do it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Dan oh Schneider or Schneider. I, listen, I I only the seen little clips. Foot. Yo. I haven't seen that yet, but now I've seen a, a status. I was like, they made Gibby dance with his shirt off the whole time on iCarly every time he was on that shit. I didn't. Had the little boy boobies and shit. I seen little clips. They always had the toes out in the show and they would be like doing this. I, I gotta watch this shit. I don't know. Really? But I, I don't like documentaries that make me like, like my stomach twirl and it's like seeing some shit. I probably should because I really did like Drake and Josh and I did really like Nickelodeon as a kid. That's but to know. The Drake and Josh situation. Yeah. Oh you I watched it already? I seen a little bit of it. Ah, you going off of that's social the, media. That's yeah. the only thing that I You actually watched it? On YouTube. Oh, they got Netflix. Come on, now we got the Netflix hookup. Nah, I, I seen a little bit on YouTube. Man. Nigga, on Netflix, let me know. I seen clips. Get it for the low. I seen clips of the interview on um on uh, Facebook, but I ain't like actually like watched the whole Motherfuckers thing. Motherfuckers fuck with Drake and Josh. That's crazy. And only one of them is yeah, because Josh ain't saying shit. No, he just said he's there for more support. Huh. Josh would look a lot like that motherfucker. Yes, it was, it was. They, nobody was trying to say nothing until they seen that bag money. That, that bag of money really makes you tell it. Yeah. These child stars be all abused, misused, <laughs> and shit. And they be wanting to be famous because that feel they're in acting. That's literally like the perk of acting, being a famous actor. I feel for a lot of them. No, because where was their parents, that money talk? I mean, they believed in their kids just the same. If my, if Eli said he wanted to be an actor, I would believe that he can do but it just because I'm his parent. Hmm? I wouldn't leave the set. I mean, I get that. Those parents, like, actually, like, 
actually trusting these strangers. Like, okay, cool, I'll be back later. Yeah, I mean, in this situation, I don't know like, how that shit was. Was or if they forced the parents out or whatever, but even then, I probably have no, a, they, I would have a bad feeling. They, they were friends. Oh, yeah, that's sad. That's that something going to Oh man, we talking about some crazy shit. I know. It's all on TV. How long have been on? <laughs> I'm already <laughs> to wrap up and go home. Yeah, down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Hell yeah, we went way. I don't late. even know how long we've been doing this shit for. Two hours. Damn near. Two we hours. Came at six. Usually we like exactly at like uh, one and a half. Yeah. Nope. Usually one and a half. I, I think it's I think it's because she's actually here and not like calling your phone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is. But it was you know it's always it's always a good time fucking coming out here and doing this shit on a regular basis. We're gonna keep adding to the show. Um, you know, eventually possibly having like an intro and um animation to in you know introduce the show and shit. And even though we're doing it live, like I can actually do that shit. And eventually, I'd like to be able to have like um I'd have to get a new laptop so it actually runs properly, but have like have the ability to like bring things up on the screen you know what i mean if i want to pull up a little clip of a video or something or you know a little audio or some shit or like a graphic or something like that i'd be able to actually pull it up on the screen i could i could play you could fucking send me like one of your new songs and i could literally play it from my computer through the stream and it would actually play like normally yeah like we could do some dope ass shit like that but i like to add to the um the atmosphere and shit like that throughout, you know, we, we've already kind of been doing that and we just kind of get a little system going, but like build on that. Yeah. And that would be dope to, like I said, with more of the, on the like uh, technology, not technology, but like the production aspect. I think we could, we could do more. I, it's dope how it is. Like it's high quality with the video and everything, but we could actually bring more things visually and then like have, um, I tried to do multiple angles at one time. It didn't work because the fucking I got two of the same camera and it's like clashing with the program that actually does the webcam shit. So I can only use the one. But if I had a different kind of camera, maybe it would work. Um, but I'm good with what we got for uh, you know with the one angle now. But then we can have uh, you know guests come on and yeah, expand the angle and shit like that. Um, that would be dope, but, you know, different people, we don't have to do a new person every week, but, um, and it doesn't even have to be, like, people that rap or whatever, you know, you don't have to be, like, specific, you know what I mean? You gotta like, buy we're rappers, pizza. like, we are, like, uh, to be entertainers and shit, but we're not, like... You just gotta buy us a pizza, you can be a regular yeah. guy. Yo, he, no, nah, he, that, that motherfucker makes music... What you talking about? No, not him. That extends to everybody now. Well, well, I thought you were referring to him. Oh, you're talking about everybody? Yo, everybody. all it takes is a pizza? Yeah, all it takes is a pizza right now. <sighs> you know that. You can enjoy it. We enjoy it. Have a nice conversation over a pizza. We choose, you choose the pizza place. We get sponsored by pizza. Yo, if we start doing that, maybe Wise Guys uh, sponsor us. And then every time we do the episode, they give us a free pizza. We give them a big-ass fucking shout-out. That'd be dope. Pizza be cool. I don't want to speak it into existence, but I'm trying to you speak it into money, existence. Wise Guys. Mm-hmm. I know you got that goddamn mild money. Yeah, we take a pizza for now. That would be but dope. We want a piece of the pie. I love their pizza. <laughs> yeah. They make some good-ass shit. Um, like, this motherfucker think he's a Wise Guy. We go take him out. We we'll take him out. But yeah, quick. we got... We got Vinny. We're going to build, expand on this shit and, you know, try to do a little more and make the show a little bit more interesting. Um, but as for right now, and we're doing it more regularly on a regular basis. Just keep, like, actually talking about us, though. Like, keep bringing this shit up and, like, telling, yo, yo we love that last episode or little little shit that you guys enjoyed. Like, just feedback is great. Because then that, when we know that y'all motherfuckers enjoy this shit, like, it makes us motivated to do it more and, you know, build mm-hmm. on that. So we appreciate when y'all actually let us know. Yeah, um, shiny. They didn't even got the quality lights and shit. This motherfucker, and, you know, if the sun didn't go down, it wouldn't be so fucking... Nah, whatever. That, I know, it looks really decent. Crispy, no, it looks, it looks decent, but I understand it's a little darker than it was before. The lighting was better before. But anyway, I guess... Well, I'm about to wrap this shit up now, and we appreciate everybody who tuned in. A lot mm-hmm. we had actually had, pre- had a pretty good amount of fucking uh, people watching the shit. For us being on for almost two hours or over two hours or whatever it is, um, I'm a lot, glad y'all got people stayed for a while. Except watch us, so and yeah. now we ain't got nothing to do except connect with y'all. 
and we just got the perfect time not to do shit together. That's it. That's, that's, that's what the brother podcast is. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, between time, this we have a conversation. Not, not to do shit. We actually doing something. Man. We ain't doing shit. But it's about. other people that have nothing to do. No, we're clear, really right? not doing shit. Like if you're we're conversating. Yeah, but we're doing it on camera and we're trying to entertain people. With it. That's trying to that's entertaining people. We ain't doing shit. We are doing something. So when you go up well, on stage Jesus and you're, you're performing something. music, you're not doing anything? De- no, no, that's different. That's actually performing. I'm not performing. I'm you're performing being as a... Per- yeah, as a yourself, that's your fucking camera persona. You're performing right now. You're just doing it naturally. I guess so. I'm saying, we're doing this fucking podcast. I make graphics for it for a reason. It's not just... We're not just fucking hanging out on live. Yeah, we chill and we smoke weed and we, we, we talk. We but like live. Yeah, people say, like people say we, people say we entertaining. So that's uh, it's like uh, I, 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 yeah. mm-hmm. thank you. That's, man. that's why we try not to be shit. too boring myself. You know what I'm saying I mean, sometimes I struggle. Yo, I like making these like get we out like the, the controversial zone. shit. Oh, did you hear what they said on the Umbrella Podcast? <laughs> I'm waiting for that shit. And then all of a sudden the episodes got fucking a hundred thousand fucking views, and the other ones got two. A hundred. We got to we got to make clips. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, but it bothers me when this is. Yeah, I gotta rip Two it off <laughs> YouTube. I gotta rip it off YouTube, and then it's all compressed, and then you fucking cut it down and compress it again, and then you upload it, and it gets compressed again. So it butchers the quality, and that's why it really ain't no way around it. Though, no. actually, what I could do is just hit record on there. Hmm. That's always gonna show on there, right? It's only gonna film thirty. But we like minutes. a whole year of episodes to do that with, and start now it wouldn't be a problem. But I think we got some gold back in the mind. We got gold right now. I'm sure it will be fine to rip it off and make reels and whatever, because everybody looks at it on their tiny ass little fucking phone, so it's not like yeah. it just bothers me. I like the high quality stuff. You know what I mean? So all right, nerd. It's not even you, about you that. It's about presentation nerd. and my product and what I do. Get the bat presentation and man, product man, that I do. Chill, we about <laughs> to end this shit right here. It's about the presentation. These is bothered. Thanks for coming by. We he still hasn't it. laughed. This <laughs> motherfucker. And with that, this is the Umbrella Podcast, The Real Deeds, with Sarah Omar. Until next time, we're going to talk about some shit that y'all hopefully want us to talk about or just. Put it in comments. When we make posts about this shit, put it in comments. What y'all want to hear us talk about. Or even in these videos after they go fucking uploaded on YouTube and for, uh, uh, you know, the replay or whatever you fucking want to call it. Uh, just let us know that you're interested and you're watching this shit. Likes, comments, subscribe, fucking all that shit. You know, that's... Send us yeah. cash. Lots and lots of cash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash app, PayPal, Venmo, money order. Wire transfer, all that shit. Food stamps. Mm-hmm. We love food stamps here. <laughs> we'll take you three really shillings. Send all your shillings. She said over shillings. Here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Flex of gold. You found Yo. fucking, fucking Bitcoin and shit. Oh my Do god. All, that. all right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. All right, all right. We out with this fucking shit. This is Brother Podcast. Really, is with Sarah Omar.